Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? How about some live bass fishing on a Tuesday morning in one of God's creations? Exactly right, Gross Savon, Louisiana, with my guy right there, my pick, partner in crime, Greg Hackney. Welcome to Zona Live. There you go. There you go. Where are we? Look how that thing is built, man. <laughs> You got him? Oh, that's the reason I stayed down low in the boat. God! He's hooked up. That is a freaking dandy, dude. Double team. <laughs> Get up in here. <laughs> You're watching Zona Live. Presented by Trocar. Absolutely the world's sharpest fish hooks. Oh, it's time, isn't it, friends? Here's the deal with Zone Alive right here. I have got a bull in a china shop that's been standing there for the better side of what, 45 minutes to an hour? He's kind of ready to go. But here's kind of what we're gonna be doing today. Number one, it's Pino. It's positive in, it's negative out. We have got a brutal, brutal cold front gang. But we are on, you know what's interesting? Look at that one right there, Greg. Awesome. We are on one of the best best playing fields on planet Earth gross about. A lot of people might say, well, Z-Train, I don't really like private lakes. Well, you've never been to this place. This is absolutely incredible. And not only that, it was handpicked by our guest right here, Greg Hackney, was it not? Exactly. He said he wanted to have a little bit of batting practice before the classic. Now, here's what we're going to be doing. Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna have a bunch of fun. We're gonna give a bunch of stuff away today. A ton of troll car hooks. By the way, real quick, by the end of the day, I don't know that they know this, we're gonna give away thousands, thousands of those hooks right there. And we did, we got to scout this place a little bit. We got to sniff around. We got a little footage from yesterday. Let's introduce the whole group. DM, Doug Miller from Gross Savon. Yes, EK in the middle. Eric Kafka, and who do we have on the left, Greg? Such. Such. Awesome, a hack the intro. 15, <laughs> 15 minutes, 15 minutes before the top of every hour, we're gonna do a little bit of question and answer. Such, what do they gotta do for questions? Oh, Zona Live, hashtag Zona Live. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Hashtag we're gonna monitor it and give Zona you questions at Live. the end of every hashtag hour. Zona Live. Twitter, the Facebook, we're gonna pick the best, we're gonna pick the best questions of the day and make it rain. Oh yeah. Let's get it on. Boy, I came out hot right there. Going in? A lot of anticipation, no. Okay. I'm gonna go back out on that side, I just. See, the one thing we are faced with today, the one thing we are faced with today, it was like 60 degrees yesterday morning, cloudy, little bit windy, little bit windy. Um, it's a different day today. It's 39 degrees in Southern Louisiana. And here's for the guy at home. He's probably on here, old biker dude or something. Uh, that's like, well, I don't like private lakes. Uh, well, don't worry. We're only gonna do one a year for you. The rest of the year, we're gonna be doing all public lakes. In fact, uh, and we'll tease this up a little bit more later on, uh, our next one is with Kevin Van Dam, who has actually handpicked his destination, which I think y'all might enjoy. Okay. There he is. This guy. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Undoubtedly, they don't really realize what the temperature is today. <laughs> or they wouldn't ask me to do that kind of stuff. Oh, it did get chilly. It did get chilly. I'm gonna tee up for everybody at home. 
when we got to snoop out here, and this will kind of, you know, we're only, we're only a couple hours from where the classic is. And with that moon right there, with the moon, every day we've been here at about noon, right, right about when live is done later today, the fish are locking on. We saw a lot of fish spawning yesterday and the day before. I mean, I'm frog fishing in gloves. <laughs> Is that like a, no, a double negative? Yes, sir. Oh, get in the boat! I heard it. <laughs> Welcome to Zone Alive. Look at that one. <laughs> Give it up, man. Give it up. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. That's so fun. I don't like gloves you. Gloves or no gloves. I don't like you. I love you. Let see me see him. him. Oh, let's keep him for a picture for later. We'll Instagram him. Hashtag zone. Oh my gosh. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Boosh. Boosh. Oh, that was fantastic. That's how they bite it. Boosh. Working it slow? Oh, Just no. like yesterday? Not like yesterday. Okay. Bud, give it up. Just crushed it. Crushed it. Thirty nine degree frog bite. Oh my gosh. Got it too. Huh? Crushers. Yeah. Nice. Way to go, Bubba. <laughs> Fantastic. That was the first fish ever on Zone Alive. And it was a nice one. It was a really nice one. That fish wasn't spawned out. Not at all. No. Not at all. Keep talking, keep, keep walking. Talking. Mm. Uh huh. Mm. Okay, for everybody at home, you ready? I'm gonna kind of dial this in. Wes, pan right down that, pan down that alley right there, that alleyway right there. Right there. Usually, the times that we've been here, the times that Hackney and I've been here, they're out on those flats out there. Every time we've been here, they're always out on those flats. But this time around, they're in all of these cuts these cuts got real deep water in the middle of them. Real deep water. And they're spawning on all these broken islands. And what there is, Greg, kind of kind of talk about the inside line. Basically, all these cuts are deep. Like this one's like 12 feet. Those inside ones are like eight. And there's a coontail, just solid coontail mat growing right down the middle. And there's a line where that coontail stops on that hard bank at about six foot deep. So from like six foot of water, you got a wall of grass all the way up to, you know, the hard line or where the reeds are, these island banks. And those fish are just spawning on sand right down that seam. And uh, it's funny, you know, we've had such a warm, uh, we've had such a warm winter and yet, you know, these fish are still spawning, and they have been since, like, in January. They started spawning this year, which is, you know, really early. But, uh, you know, <laughs> there's so many fish live here, that's, they can't all spawn at once. So, I mean, we're here just right on this moon. I mean, with the exception of the 35-degree weather. But it's still been good. I mean, it just, 
it, it amazes me that these fish are not affected by the weather as much as they are other places. You know, we didn't know this morning if we'd get a frog bite or not. Yesterday, yesterday, if you look at that inside line he's throwing at and the inside line that I, I'm throwing at, it looked like bowling balls dropping in the water. Like right where his frog is, it's clean. What a nice first bite, my friend. Oh. Now we may have to switch up and we might not be able to frog them all day today like we did yesterday. Or maybe we will. Yeah, it's hard to tell. You know, a lot of times we think fish are affected by weather a lot more than they are. And we just have a tendency when the weather cools off to want to slow down, you know, but today we're going to keep them honest. You know, but we've had some cloudy weather and, uh, I mean, which is always good weather to frog in. And it was considerably warmer than it is today. So today we got high skies and I mean, an even more severe cold front than the last one. It's kind of weird because we've had two cold fronts right on top of one another. Uh, one passed like on Sunday and then the one that came through last night. I mean, record snow. <laughs> Let me ask you a places. favor. Explain everybody why you wanted to come here a week before the biggest tournament of the year. Uh, this is such a great place. You know, you're always going to get a lot of bites regardless of the weather. I mean, I, I, this is so funny. It's been like this every time I've been here. I've never really been here when it's supposedly good <laughs> and it's always incredible. I mean, most places, you know, this morning, you wouldn't want to even want to get up and go on a morning like this. But here, you know, I'm like, you never know what's next. You know, you can catch a 10 pounder out here on the next cast. And, uh, you know, it's close to home right now and just a good place for me to go before the classic and get an opportunity to- uh, Batting practice. Yeah, batting practice to swing that bat a little bit, so. And it's also a good place to work on techniques. I mean, you know, today you, you're probably going to see we're going to catch them worm fishing, you know, several different ways, flipping. I mean, there's just a lot of things you can do here. I might get the swimmer on the side. Yeah, I was. I'm gonna experiment a little bit while, just to keep them honest. All right. Like I remember, I remember the first time, I remember the first time that I heard about this place Hackney came here and Mercer was down here too, about the same time. And Hackney sent me a picture of what they caught here. And it was like, it was like 30 degrees out, wasn't it? It was horrible. I, like I said, every time I've been here, it's been like that. It's always, and then, and this is the latest of it. And what I mean by that, like this every is the time, latest in the year. Latest in the year I've ever been here. Typically, it's always in February, which you get a lot of these kind of cold fronts in February. But I mean, we haven't hardly had a cold front this year in this part of the country since December, you know. And <laughs> until uh, we got here, golly, it's it, it it's almost like man. Anytime we go anywhere, whether it's an elite series or whatever, I mean, we bring the worst weather ever. Oh, it's a typical Zona show now. Yes, sir. Okay, here's what we're gonna do real quick. I want you to just look at yesterday. This was all in about two hours yesterday out here. There he is. Got him. Ooh, that's gonna be a nice one. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Ooh! Spawned outer. Damn, bud. I feel 
Yes. 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 Hit him. Uh -huh. Frog bite. Frog bite. Uh huh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh uh. Ooh. Oh, Move sad. to the other side. Ate it. Chill, that don't last. Ate it. Ate it. Mm. Tickling my little frog. Whoa! Oh, That's it's a lobby? crappie. Is that a it's a crappie. Sack of what, what are you talking about? Everything bites. It's fine. The perch. There he is! Big and Ooh! Get up! Call that Bill. Go, we got it. Go, we got it. Looks good, good, good. Oh, oh, she looked. Look at there. Oh, 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 He was back on the flat. They're in at every angle! Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. her! It's it! Yes! Ooh! Ooh! I mean, devil! Get up for it! The head of thing. Um. Get it! Get it! He came back! <laughs> watch out, watch out! You'll get a spooner on your back. Hey, oh. God. That's all being that side. God. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I knew. It wow. He come back and got it. A nice one. A nice one. They're all nice ones. That's the good thing. You have your side. There you go. Like a worm bite. Yeah. Like. And it's a nice one. Ooh. Nice one. Get that little old chug. Buttercup. Oh, look at him dancing all the way back. Boy, he is full of piss and vinegar in it. Oh, he got it. Yes! Yes! Oh, I just wet my pants. Wait a moment. There you go. Ta da! Ta da! Good bite. And yep. Excellent execution. Thank you. Commentator, right there. Goodbye. Hey, and that was excellent. Oh, Ooh. there he is. Up on headstone. Come on, come on. Oh! Now she's down. Nice. I mean, it's every direction that I throw in. <laughs> it's the pleasure room. We're back. All right, check it out while we were just away. How about this right here? Hackney, getting to work early. <laughs> 
You have come out to play today. Yes, you sir. have come out yes, to play today. Put him in a live well. I just, I just missed one. And what we've seen out here the last couple days, it's really strange. You can go for like a half mile yes. to a mile and yes. not get a bite. Yes. And I missed one on a swim bait. And all of a sudden that, I mean, same thing. Oh gosh, I am fishing the wrong side of the lake. Good job, Bubba. I'm talking about Hackney Live. Yes! <laughs> oh, that one was caught outside I saw the... That. Uh, I saw that. I saw that. I mean, he just struck at it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But with my cat-like reflexes. <laughs> oh, what Using a... Using some of the same techniques I use on a saber tooth. They're blasting it, though. Boosh. Right? Boosh. Oh, that is so incredible when they decide to commit to it. And you never know. Like, mm -mm. now this morning there's been no sign. You know how yesterday we had some to cold trail it, you know, I mean, right. they'd just be slipping and then they would get it. I never see anything now, they get whoosh. You, what was weird, what was weird yesterday on that footage is Right there, oh. right there, right there. Ate something. Let me refeed it. I'm scared. <laughs> My perch got scared. I don't know what to do with this. But that's exactly what, what happened yesterday is I was throwing that swim bait. And Greg was throwing that popping perch right up where we started, and he had a couple kind of kind of just mealy mouth. It just but a few of them yesterday, it was almost like they just sucked a bobber under. Come on. They're not biting the white cricket too good. Yes, yes sir? All right, is everybody sending in questions? Hashtag zone alive to the Sooj. Hey, start giving Sooj some problems today. Greg, start giving them problems. Any questions? Hashtag zone alive to the Sooj. He looks like he's about half Sooj. lost over right now. Ah, we got to get some questions going. Yeah, 4.30 this morning, you're like, y'all want to come in here and look at these pictures? <laughs> like, oh, what? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Poor guy. Look at him. He is a mess. IT, if you have a call on line one, IT, line one, please. <laughs> okay. Not as many bites today, but... No, but that's you know. okay. We can get down warming them later. There he is. Sounded good. <laughs> oh, gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh. Did. Boosh. I heard I, it. It wasn't a big one, but. Oh, it wasn't? Boy, no. it sounded good. Three pounder. Oh, it was a gorgeous bite. <laughs> I thought it was a big one. Did you see that bite, Wes? No? Wes. Come on, Wes. There he is. Oh my gosh. Get ready, Wes.
Totally missed it. Just totally missed it. Wow. Man, I well, that's like that one I caught a while ago. I mean, it was a big blow up. Outside his mouth. Outside his yeah. He never even had it. Big blow up, just totally missed it. I mean, never. Of course, maybe what it, the deal was when he came out of that 60 and he felt that 30 degree, <laughs> right. that it was time to turn back. <laughs> Ooh. Mealy mouth. Might not even been a bass. Mealy mouth. Sucked it down. And what it done was, was I was yeah. able to weave a spider web. I'm trying oh, to get yeah, it off. Of you, sorry. Uh, Yesterday, they'd have it to their crushers. Just lime coming out of their mouth. Little guy. Air bass. I told you, I wasn't afraid to poke a hole on a little one. Pull on every one. Yes, sir. Everyone's a home run. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Whack. Get all of it. I'll tell you, after commercial break, I'm not scared to get up on that north bank where it's dead slick calm. You think? We better fish that other one. Yeah, the, the one over yeah, there. Yeah, the one yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. yeah we'll just hit the high point. Well, it's just going to be calm on that north deal, you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> just barely, God, killing me. On them tail biters. Yeah, just. But we had some yet, you yeah. know. It's so funny how one will just eat it and the next one will just. Just barely. Like a bluegill. Yeah. I mean, that is a front that came in. I mean, it's just hideous. You know, not anything against Zone Alive. Right. I would rather it was this weekend than next. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not that I'm picking, you know, picking weekends, but. Uh... Exactly where they were at yesterday. Greg, just like yesterday, you have come out of the gates firing. I got four hours to get it done. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you are not scared to kick every one of my teeth in, are you? No. No. <laughs> no. It's 
See, I think we can come back through these later and warm them. And just right? kind of slow down yeah. just a hair. Yeah. And just, just kind of crawl that around. inside line. Yeah. Gosh, it's not a very big, but it's a frog fish. Yes, which are my favorites. I got a lot of favorites. I got to get a new cricket on, bud. Yeah, when we move to our next little, yep, yep, I'm gonna yep, do yep, yep, yep. You got it too. Uh huh. I mean, that one, it's, I mean, goosh. goosh. How did it go again? Goosh. 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 So, that's what they're saying. Huh? Sooch. It's not. Gooch. Sooch. Sooch. Yeah. Sooch. Yeah. Come on. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. You feel like you're gonna get bit on every throw. <laughs> and you know there's a chance that you will. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not like out of reality. Realistically, it can happen any cast. You wanna get down here and idle over to that yeah, one? Yeah, I think yeah. that would be okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Just right to the end. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, you know what? I think we're going to see a little bit of everything. I think we're going to see some spawning fish, some fish that are done, some pre-spawn. I mean, we've had the win the weirdest winter ever. I mean, uh, but we're going to see some giant bass. I mean, there's no doubt. You know, you put our bunch on a place that's got that kind of fish. We're going to see some of them seven to ten. Give me a wave. To win? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna say 65, and that's a lot of weight in the classic. Right. And what a lot of people don't understand about that, a lot of times a lake will produce a lot more weight, but there's a lot goes on in a classic. You got a short time. There's a lot of people on the water. Um, it's a short schedule. I mean, and I don't know that conditions are just prime for it to be a lot more weight than that because the fish are gonna be doing everything. You know, I don't know, necessarily know that a guy will win doing one thing. You know, he may have to fish for two or three different types of fish, from pre-spawn to post-spawn to, you know, the spawning fish. I mean, it's going to be, uh, it'll be interesting. Hey, friend, why has the Classic been your nemesis? Oh, I don't know. I guess because I've never won it. <laughs> that would probably be the biggest reason, but, you know, just simplifying things is what I was trying to do then. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a new cricket. Let me show everybody what we got going here. Okay. Go with that one right there. Come on down. Let's come hang with me. Huh? Is it? Okay. I know that. Uh, here's what we got going. We've been, we mixed it up yesterday. We mixed it up between a regular sec hog, like out there, you can see that one got, that, that one right there got wounded yesterday. In between that and a, and a popping bird, it's got a throw car frog hook in it. And the weird thing yesterday was um, I was a little excited. I didn't catch as many as Craig, but that poppin' perch got really big bites yesterday. Really big bites. Um, it did, without a doubt. It got the biggest bites. I bite. mean, it, it caught way bigger fish than the sexy frog, uh, but you got less bites on it. And the wild thing about it was some of those great big ones yesterday would just come up, and, 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 and we got a couple of them on camera, where you'd see that bait out there and they would just come just like this and just barely pull it down. And they were big ones.
but there's a win it seems like there's a window on it where they'll bite it the first two hours and then the whole they just completely shut down they totally shut down but if you lock that frog in your head and the sexy frog you'll get more bites but that one right there is what caught all the all the big ones yesterday you want me to idle you down oh uh, yeah we yeah? Yeah, let's we don't Wes, need I'm to just kill gonna, any. I'm gonna give you your life jacket real quick. Yeah. Okay. Well you got yours on under your ring suit, don't you, Will? Hey, I, here's the beautiful thing. I mean I don't know if you've ever watched Zona's Awesome Fishing Show. That's really all that this is. Um, it's just a, a live Zona's Awesome Fishing Show. Is I'm not proud, gang. I don't care if Greg comes out just throwing punches. Keep doing it, man. Is this the one or next uh -uh, one? No, next one. Next one? I'll probably wear that second okay. ripple's coming what out. What we're going to do is we're going to go back up another one of these cuts and then get on that north wall where it's going to be a lot calmer. We saw yesterday, these fish are a lot like Florida fish. They don't like, they just don't like being in the middle of that, the heat, the heart of that wind. I want to replay a few more Hackney's bites. Did you get some of those bites on camera? Oh my gosh. Goosh. I mean, there was some yesterday that honestly scared us when they bit it. Say it again. Oh, what we've seen today, I'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly stunned how well they're, they were biting his frog. Uh, you know, it was, I am too. This is it right I'm here? Shot. Yeah, this is it. Um, I'm stunned at it. I mean, they weren't, they weren't kissing it. It was, goosh, such, such. Hey, such. Such a roll up in Little Rock, and people will be like, that's Suche. <laughs> oh, that's Suche is. All right, brother. All right. Ooh, she's blowing again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. All right, you got her. You know, this batting cage is not covered. Huh? <laughs> I said this batting cage is not covered. No. Oh, I got me a dancer. <laughs> well, I got a dancer. You got some wind. I got a dancer. You might need a kite. Call oh, that one's dancing, Wes. Yeah. So Greg, Greg made a promise if he wins the Classic, right when you win the Classic, we're coming back for a week? Yeah. I didn't say when we were coming back. Oh, okay. It's not right after? Yeah, not right after. You know, Julie's watching this. Understand. <laughs> Understand. <laughs> she thinks I stay on vacation enough now as it is. You know what I'm saying? So let's not advertise Understand. That. Understand. That was a bite yesterday, right there. Yep. There is somebody, D. Wayne, in Northern Alabama, watching this right now saying, come on, hack, pick up a flipping stick right there. Come on. Oh, it's coming. It is, too. It's just hard. Oh! oh! I never even heard of him. Just kind of slipped up there and got it. Drop it back. Huh? Put it back. 
No, hang on. Okay, I didn't know. Yeah. No, we'll call them out. You know, that's the good thing about a frog. You get to set the hook the same way. Happens a little faster than that flipping bug. That one just bobbered you. I, it did this. It's sharp. Huh? Just barely saw its back come up and uh, like there was no... Right. See, and here's what we're going to do this year. We're going to all, I can't, I can't give out where we're headed next, to the lake we're headed next, but I'm leaving the lakes, kind of leaving the lakes to, to the guests, wherever they want to go. And I could tell you, it's going to be hard for your next guest to pick better than me. I'm not saying he's pretty sharp, you know, but just say it. We have Kevin Van Dam <laughs> coming on, on Zona Live in a month, about one month from now. And he has picked his lake. He's picked his battle. A place that we got a lot of familiarity shooting Zona shows at. It'll end up blowing like this. <laughs> but they'll be big and bro Oh, never yeah, mind. Don't, don't give away. I didn't any give away anything. Secrets. You're still walking good? You good? Not until I have to tune it every little bit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When we move the next time. Yep. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, sometimes it just kind of skitters. Right. They're a little tighter than yesterday, a little tighter. Yeah, we're gonna do about one, one a month before I cast. Get ready. Wasn't this the real good stretch yesterday? Uh -huh. Yeah. Actually, it was up just a hair, wasn't it? Just as it yeah. started breaking. Yeah. yeah, we were right there. Yeah, we yeah. were right there. Yeah, just as it started, yep. those islands started yep. breaking up. Come on. God, it, you, 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 you feel like you're against the clock, though, with this. You know that was four I'm, hours. Huh? No, 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 no. I mean, you're uh, with this bait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was fixing to say, we were a little more laid back yesterday when we were just kind of slinking around. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? And the weather, you know, was not the best yesterday, but it was considerably better than <laughs> it today. It was much know? nicer. It didn't seem like it yesterday, but after coming out this morning, I'm like, wow, boy, yesterday was like being in the Bahamas. Yes, sir. Oh, we got five minutes to social media power hour, named by Dave Mercer with the suit. Hashtag Zone Alive, ask any of your questions. We're gonna pick win we're gonna pick winners at the end, but if there's a question that Craig likes more than any, he's just gonna call a winner, aren't you? Be watching out for Eric and Little Rock. That right there got your arm ripped off yesterday. Uh Sooch. Sooch. looks like a bomb will oh, fall down still. over there. You get one? No. Oh I thought you no. I thought you had a cool trailer. Mm, 
Hey, I'll tell you what I'd like if we, if we could, if you could throw in some, uh, some uh, recommendations. I, like I said, I can't give away our next one, but we haven't really picked. We're gonna do four of these this year. We haven't picked three and four. I'd love some ideas on where somebody would like to see a live show. And we're gonna do them on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. If you know what I mean, boy. Uh, Van Dam next. We got an Iconelli gonna join the party. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Bring extra saliva. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We got an Iconelli going to join the party. Oh, what a show that was. Ooh, I just saw one come up. Yeah, I think that cattail line on your left up there is the juice. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Greg, I think they got off for a little earlier today. Wonder why. I know. Yeah. Of course, these might have been, you know, the gravy ones in here yesterday might have took a little less. <laughs> you know what I mean? Gang, the, 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 this canal yesterday got beat. <laughs> they were biting. Beat. We'll find them biting again on that north wall. We will. Every one of these cuts, every one of them has a spawn net in them. I can't do it. I can't throw that worm this early. I can't do it. <laughs> can't slow down no. just yet. Still a little jacked up on caffeine, yeah. is what you're saying? A little bit. Had a little too much coffee this morning. I remember last time we were here, and we'll go. Oh, oh, bluegill, blue, bluegill, bluegill. You worming or uh, yeah. you didn't, you're not throwing that swimmer? Uh, the rage swimmer. I, uh, I remember the last time we were here, the fray we put in it was just like this. It was nasty. Oh, 30 something degrees. And like the very, very first patch of bulrushes I threw in, the first patch, we caught a one just under eight. So like, oh my gosh, it was so cold. It was so cold. And they were eating a swim jig like I had never seen them eating jig in my life. I gotta throw a frog on that. Well, don't be a big one. Come. No, just rip it off. That's so awful. Oh, I love it. Oh. Whack! I don't know which is better, though. Bud, you are ready for the classic. 
Oh, yeah. You are ready. Yeah, I stay ready. <laughs> I wish every tournament was the classic. I say that, and then when I get there, I'm like, really? <laughs> really? So a lot goes on with that little Bassmaster Classic, that little derby that they're having in Houston. Little, little, oh, little, wow. little. But it sounded good. Little. Sushi's getting ready for the social media power hour. I'm just trying to figure out who gave him a haircut. <laughs> You're rough on suit. Okay. I mean, oh, he's oh. got it. No, he's got the tail. I can see he's got the tail. Just like yesterday. Did you see that, Wes? I watched him come up and just grab got a view? Yeah. Hey. Hi, how you guys it's doing? So hey. Just call to see how you guys are doing. Look at that bed right there. Ooh. I lost that great big one right there yesterday. Yes, you did. Happens to be on yes, my sir? side. Are you kidding me? Already? First time ever? Such question number one comes from... John Manichini or something. But I got to answer because he's asking which one of you two is more hung over. And, uh... Whoa! I think the WC feels where your pineapple juice was in your pineapple juice. But how about what? a good question from John Probowski? Start with Greg. Okay. You should answer too, Z. He was asking what's the best fishing advice you've ever received, Greg, and uh, how have you used it for your career? Well, basically it was come to Grove Savant and throw a Strike King Poppin purse. That was probably the best advice I've ever had. I got invited here by a guy named Dub Miller. <laughs> What is your best advice seriously for your career? Oh, you know what? <sighs> when you were young, I, you know, I, honestly, made... that's a, that's a hard question. That's a hard question, you know, because I don't think. You know, I hate to say this, I'm not too much on advice. Zadie, <laughs> <laughs> because you'll you get all. Yes, sir. Answer that at all? I'll give you an opinion. Okay. I'll give you an opinion. And it's, this goes to all the college kids out there that are watching me get my teeth kicked in right now. Is I'm dead serious. One of the uh, one of the most asked questions Hackney gets, and I get at sports shows, tournaments. How do you get sponsors? Don't worry about that. That's the best advice I could give. Time on the water when you're a young guy, when you're in high school, when you're in college, time on the water is the most important thing on planet Earth. Hands down, bar none, is just worry about that. Spend as much time, like when I was 16, 17, 18, 19, and I got into college, it, the, the most important thing was as much time as you could spend on the water was the most, uh, it's, the, it's critical at that age. And instead of worrying about companies and sponsors and all that stuff, just worry about being out on the water. Don't worry about the business side of it till you're out of college. Get your, fi get your fishing but down. Don't let your fishing mess up with your education. That's Do right. When you're not studying, and because when you go to college, there's gonna be a lot more studying than there is fishing. Right. How? What? What? what did you say? What was that? 
how does a, a weekend angler add well, a technique to his arsenal? Let's say jig fishing, he specifically asks. You know, basically the deal with that is, is it, I, and I and I hear this all the time from. It's not just me that says this, but it's to pick it up and go with it. And it's better to pick a place. I don't care if it's a pond or what it is, a place you can get bit and get a feel. Right, right you know, here. get a feel for that jig. Right um, yeah, you here, but you need to go somewhere good. Don't go someplace where you're gonna get two or three bites in four hours. You know, go someplace where you can get some bites. Go at a time, but just use the jig. Experiment with trailers. You know, I like a rage crawl, sometimes like a KVD chunk. Just experiment and get a feel. It's always better. Like, I throw a heavy jig a lot now, but when I started, I didn't have a feel for that. It's better to start with a quarter or three-eighths. You know, and just plank around and get some bites and just build confidence in it. But number one is to go somewhere where you can get some bites. You know, when that jig goes in the water, one's going to get it. You know, don't go to a place where the fishing's not that good. Go somewhere where it's good. You know, get a feel for it. Suits, I'm going to throw one in on that real quick. I'm going to throw one thing in on that, okay? Is what the tendency is when you're not catching them, I want you to look at what I've done so far today. It, when you're not catching them, you start going through a bunch of different stuff and it looks like a hand grenade went off in the boat and there's lures everywhere. The best thing to do when the wheels come off, put your best fastball in your hand. If you're a jig fisherman, th throw a jig. If you're a cranker and they ain't biting, go cranking. Because instantly you've done something to give you confidence. I think we got time for at least one more. Tony Carter asked me your Let's do one in. more, Suge. And you get hung up. He sees a lot of pros. They don't have to uh, go back and and uh, readjust their their lures. They want to wants to know what kind of maybe special hooks you're using or, or glue. And I saw you guys glue and stuff last night. What kind of things do you do to prepare your 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 jig? Let's say. So you don't you don't have to. Hackney, go ahead. You know, basically, I go ahead and trim my skirt and get everything right. And that's one thing I like about a jig over a piece of plastic. Because typically, you know, if you flip into that stuff with a jig and it gets hung, you're, everything stays together. Where if you flip a piece of plastic in, a lot of times it'll pull it down on the hook. Um, I mean, occasionally it's just going to get messed up, you know. Uh, <laughs> it kind of comes back to that trial and error deal. When you flipped in a piece of cover as much as I have, you just have a tendency to get better at it. I got a lot of experience. Some good, some bad. Oh, one okay, more, Sue. Okay, Greg. What? What would this is from from Chuck Khalil? What would be your top five or six tips to make you a jig master? Uh, you, you know, main thing is confidence in it. I just have so much confidence. And, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, how I got started fishing a, uh, a jig, my father and I, I, at a young age, fished a lot of those big bass tournaments, and they were all won on a jig and pig. And so it was a deal. I started jig fishing because that's how the big ones were caught. And I've just done it so much over time. The other deal with it for me is, like, you may get more bites on a piece of plastic, but chances are I'll land more on a jig. And, you know, and as being a tournament fisherman and making a living, you know, fishing, you know, I need to be efficient. Everything I do needs to be efficient. I don't need to be working on my tackle. I don't need to be missing a bass. You know, because one bass can cost me lots of money. And, uh... Is that a prize winning question or not yet? That's pretty strong. Is it? It's pretty strong. Do you want to give them a prize? I don't, yeah, I want to give everybody a prize. <laughs> I'm the prize guy. Um, but I think that's the main thing for me is just confidence. And you know what? Honestly, I feel like there's a lot of people. There are more people out there that flip a piece of plastic, even in our group in the Elite Series, than there are throw a jig. And that makes, regardless if it gives me an advantage, it makes me feel like I have an advantage. And, you know, it's just one of those deals with confidence that if I feel like I got an advantage, in my mind, I'm better than you. You know, so that's what keeps me going. Suge, who was that from? Khalil. Chuck Khalil. Chuck Khalil. Get his number. Get his address. $100 power pool Whoa. gift certificate and a troll Whoa. car gift pack. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Just knocking them out this morning.
We're going to break. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's crack we're going to move to the end. Yeah, we're going to go where it's dead flat calm and work our way back. Going to take a break, and we'll meet you at another place on Gross Savant Zone Alive. Let's go. I mean, you. Zone Alive is brought to you by Ram. Shimano. Mercury. Bass Pro Shops. And by Strike King. Yeah. Yeah. See, all those fish look like they weigh five or six pounds. When they eat it, I know. Ooh. Ooh. But I, I know somewhere, somewhere during this day, every day Hack and I have fished here for the last two days, you got to kind of adjust your deal. As that sun gets high, you got to change your game and put this down. The problem is this is just hard to put down because it's fun to watch him eat it. I don't know if the folks at home are okay with this though. I'd like to throw it for another hour. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's the only problem with it, it's so addicting. Because, you know, typically, it, a frog bite is a different type of topwater bite. You know, I don't know what it is about it, but it, you know, it's like that fish comes to kill it. Not necessarily just to eat it. It's just violent. Yes, violent. I'm not sure that people with violent tendencies make better frog fishermen. You know, I don't know, you know. Oh, you just feel like, you just feel like it's going to happen any second. Right? I know. Violent, Wesley. Hey, Such, let me know if anybody hashtag Zone Alive's in any ideas for different lakes this year. Because the rest of them are all all public. We're doing uh, one in a month. Well, two up north and one more down south. Am I holding you okay? I'm hurt. Okay. Oh. Doesn't seem like the window is going to be as long today, Craig. Yes, sir. <sighs> Can I talk about that? I guess. No, I'm serious. Um, you know, I, I made this comment last night. I'm, I'm being dead serious. Um, Greg is, 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 you know, of, of the Elite Series. The, our career kind of started the same time. Mine started in television as his really started on the Elite Series. And he's a throwback. You know what I mean? And, 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 and here's the best way to describe that is in a time, in a time that you know, you see so much technology, and don't get me wrong, he has everything on his boat that the, that the other anglers have. Um, he still does it his way. Uh, and, and there's a lot to be said for that, in my opinion, that, and what I mean by he does it the right way is, you know that he has the respect of, of his competitors because they're genuinely happy when he wins. The other side of it is, and I mean, it's weird. I talked to him. I talked to him about this 
when when I got here, I'm gonna put that jack plate up. He's fishing better right now, in my opinion, than he's ever fished in his life. He uh, he doesn't miss right now. Rarely does he miss the gig, and. <laughs> what you say though your mind is perfect but your body's not holding up as right. well anymore. my mind still seems good my body's not quite what it used to be yeah they're off of it but you made a comment last night this is for for everybody at home You've made, you made a comment last night. You've kind of given up caring. Just let go. Yeah, I, I think there's a lot to that, and that happens with maturity. You know, I'm not saying I'm mature. <laughs> you know, I mean, by no means. But as a fisherman, I've probably matured a little bit. And, you know, you just you kind of learn to take your licks. I mean, there's going to be good ones, there's going to be bad ones, and you just have to kind of roll with the punches. Oh, there's a big part of me wants to go right out to that. Yeah, I know. Place. Kind of sling down through them little lily pads you know over there. I, I know. I hear you. A big part of me. But you know what's? Uh, I remember before before I. Uh, gosh, we started shooting shows. We start, started shooting shows together twelve years ago. Yeah, it's been a long time. Twelve years. It only seems like a couple, though. Um, you know, I guess that's you. You know, when things are going pretty good, when they go fast. Yeah. We shot a show. We shot a show together. A hunting show. At. Oh, this is a great story. This is so fantastic. We shot a, shot a hunting show at Hackney's Island. In, in he's he's got an island that he hunts in southeast Arkansas. And I'll never forget this. We were on our worst behavior ever during that shoot. Fair? Fair. Fair. I mean, there was footage in that show of me coming out of an outhouse with boots, underwear, and carrying a, I was carrying a head. With a machete. In with a hand. machete in my other hand. And I'll never forget this. I was like, I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if ESPN's going to be real happy with, with that when it's done. There were so many things that were off in that show, yeah, it was awesome. and that show aired. That show aired, and on Monday morning, Monday morning, I got a phone call from a guy at ESPN, and he said, uh, "Hey, chief, hey, chief, I got to talk to you. Uh, I got to talk to you real quick about that show." the hunting show and he went just like this this is no joke he goes there was one shot that that just not acceptable and I, I you know I'm I'm getting a couple I'm definitely gonna have to answer a few questions about it and he goes when you shot the deer you needed to take a handy wipe and wipe away the wound and I thought to myself did you not see the decapitated deer head coming out of an outhouse Think, Bubba. When we get to the, huh? All those beds were way down there. Look at that. Saw him. Boy, he just shocked it. He shocked that raid swimmer. It's like when you find one, though, they're hot. Yeah. I mean, he was hot. Yeah. Doug, how you doing over there, buddy? Hey, 
That's Dub. Yeah. That's Are Dub over there, boy. <laughs> How you doing, Dub? Hey, Dub. Dub. But I'm gonna take her right down, okay? Because yesterday we took a left in here somewhere. I'm gonna take her right down. Hey, Dub. Dublin. He like a little old Dublin. Gosh, it's hard not to pick it up. Mm. Wes! Woo! Woo! The place I had to move from because they wouldn't let me dance. <laughs> That's a play because it's weird that gosh, how many years ago was that? Ten? I don't know. Ten years ago? Had me said, hey, you wanna come down to Star City for for uh spring break? I said, where is Star City? It sounds fantastic. Twinkle town. <laughs> <laughs> and he said the only thing is I'm not allowed to dance. Um and I said, Where's Star City at? He said, Well, it's about an hour and a half south of Little Rock. I said, well, sure. Heck, we were we were covering the Elite Series. I said, I'm there, man. And he said, there's just an endless, endless list to do when you go to Star City. I mean, it's where the, it's where the stars come out to shine. And lo and behold, we get there and a few of his friends kind of started slinking around the hotel. But I'll be honest with you. It was a it was a very very it put a place with my butt like I now knew I understood a lot more about Greg. It was really it was akin to to the movie Footloose. You know, they were a little strict on the teenagers there. What did you say in that thing? You went like this. Oh, it was a good place to grow up. I had a lot of girlfriends. <laughs> <How about God>. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the fishing was, honestly, the fishing was unbelievable. It was, what's interesting is I, uh, I don't know. It's like, uh, you know, we've been back there a few times. I shot a show there alone. I shot a show with Kevin Worth. And and uh, what's funny is I, I I look back on when we shot our first, when we shot that show at it's called Cane Creek. Hackney made the comment. He's like, man, the average the average size bass there, you know, are you know three and a quarter to to four pounds. And uh, I, he was right. Like everything you caught there was oh, over oh, three oh, pounds, huh? Oh, 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 God. Oh, he was coming. He was coming. Now I got my. He was coming. Here he is right there. Oh, my gosh, was that great. <laughs> he came back. He came back. Dude, you are awesome. How awesome was that? You are awesome. <laughs> How awesome was that? You are that? absolutely awesome. Was that awesome? Yes. Dude, that was awesome. Yes. Mm. He wanted my swimmer. I love you, bud. Corner. I love you. Hey, those swimmers are right down there. <laughs> Wonder if they're biting in. <laughs> Wonder if this could be a deal here. Good job, Bubba. That was fantastic. It was so awesome. Can we put together a Greg Hackney highlight morning video reel? Dude, I'll come and take the whole thing. Oh, he ate it. Well, he was coming like yeah. a shark. Yeah. Yeah. Like a baby seal pup yeah. crawling across them pads. That is a... 4.75? What's that? 4.78 rate Four, swimmer. That's a 4.75 with Four. a uh, trocar swim bait hook. Uh-huh. The 
cool thing about that bait, it just, it always tracks perfect. That tail has so much thump and it's ribbed for their pleasure. What happened? What are we doing? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> What? It is. Oh. And all the ribs turn forward, so it has more vibration. What? All the ribs turn forward on it. They're not turned back, so it's pushing a lot of water. Look here, I bent the wire. Did you really? Yeah, I think. You need another one? Uh, don't you just have another rod rig? What's that? I'm throwing it. Uh, here, I'll get you one. No, no, no. Just tell me which way to... Uh, yeah. Here, here. Show me how to bend it back. Here, just get me gritty. Hold on. Hang on. You ready? There's a bunch of them right there. Okay. It just kind of straightened the wire go. when I, uh, I... Very good. I swung a little hard. Okay. Hey, while he's rigging real quick, being dead serious, for any of you troll car people, if you click on that banner ad on that troll car deal, see those Z-Packs? Take you right to Bass Pro, Pro Shops. You can get 15 hooks for like $9.99. What did you do with that hook? Say it again. Oh, did you need a whole hook? I needed it. Oh, oh no, you, no, what did I need? I, I just, thought you needed a spring. What did you do with it? I, th I, don't, I think I put it back in the tackle box. No, I just need a spring. Okay. <laughs> I think you did. I caught it. Still kicking in. That man's ready for a saber tooth. You ready? Yes, sir. Just set it right by the ram sticker. There it is. You ready? Right there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. We good. You're okay? Oh, it's great. Good job, Hack. All right, real quick, Wes, if you pan out there to the duck line, there's a bunch of them on that flat, but we were gonna save that kind of if need be area. We slipped out there yesterday and they were in a pad field out there. Hey, while we're talking about Zona Live today, have you been on Ike Live? I'm going to throw my little buddy some love right now. Have you been on her? Huh? Yes. Yes, I have. Did you by chance see the Jacob Wheeler? See, I'm not scared to even go there right now. Did you see the Jacob Wheeler getting a lie detector test by a stormtrooper? No, I did. The best thing I've ever seen on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> ever. I texted Ike and Ellie when they were doing that. I could not breathe. It was so funny. Say it again. Uh, we got it tightened up. We're good. It's all coming again. Hey, this first one's a trial run. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, in a way. <laughs> yes, it is. Should be one there, Wes. Oof. They tight, Greg, they tight. Should we hit our little worming hole today? Well, it'll be in the rotation, I think. Yeah. Kind of do yeah. sweep around. We'll yes, sir. Fish that. Yes, sir. When we leave here, we'll go to the. Yeah. You know the place we didn't fish. We got waypoints coming up.
All right. What's weird is many times as I've been here, this whole thing still looks like a giant maze to me. No, it is. You a know maze. what I mean? I mean, that's the other cool thing about it is. <laughs> there he is. Biggin? No. Dang. What do you God, the way you bowed up, I was like, gosh, I hit him, man. You did. Go ahead and take it. Didn't like him. See, that's what's happened every day. Every day they'll get off that. And that frog window was small today. It was really small. You know, they were only on it for an hour. Um, there you go, buddy. And then they'll just start going to subsurface stuff where it's whether it's this swimmer, that swimmer or a worm. But if it was warmer, they would have stayed on that frog the whole time. Yesterday was as long as they had been on it, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, and we didn't have it was much a warm, wind, it was a warm it was night. warmer. We just had a light breeze. I'm getting the poison God, out. I'm, I'm getting the poison out. You. you know what I mean? I'm getting the poison out. Are you going to show the folks at home a little flipping before we're done today? Oh, I got a little, I got a spot picked out. We do, don't we? I mean, you can flip all of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be flipping the whole time. And you can catch them that way. At GS420. Greg, I'm going to get down here. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take the Y. Is what it's telling me. To the left? I'm gonna take it to the right. To the right. Okay. Yes, sir. Hey, Wes. I'm behind you all the way. I'm gonna ask you a question. Where do you want to do a live this year? What is that? Okay. Is it good? No. Oh, even better. Okay. <laughs> and he stresses the word warm, juicy, warm and juicy. We're going to give you a place up here, fellas. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm afraid I'm, I'm a little, I, I kind of hate to say it. I've got a, a little bit of a fonding to Northern California. Catch a hogs, Keith. I know, I know. Well, it is those on alive, sure we are. <laughs> exactly. He likes to bring that Michigan weather with him wherever he goes. Just a taste of it, like a tea. Well, we have brought it today. I mean, I'm still fishing in gloves. I know. In March. And if you go any farther in Louisiana, you go in the Gulf of Mexico south. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right there. Yeah, right there. Right over those trees right there is the Gulf of Mexico. Who's your fourth guest? I don't know yet. I, I'm up for ideas. Hashtag Zone Alive. I'm up for, I'm up for ideas. Nicely done, bud. Back side of it. We need a go, huh? Oh, look at look. Oh, box him up. Way to go, Bubba. Mm. Well, they eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. He bit it like a frog. Oh, Didn't I, he? I, he come for 10 foot. Did he really? Yeah, I saw the weight coming. Way to go. Yes, he did. And again, the reason we got a 17 pound bag of Raid 20.
It's all working. Yeah, he bit that just like a frog. Oh gosh. Oh. I see the bowl. He just came right up out of the grass. It's weird when you get around a couple. All righty. Sooch, 15 to you. Sooch. Sooch. Hey, Greg. Yes, sir? There's a Y in the road right here to us. Right there in it. I like to call that. Right? That one was coming. It was weird. He just popped came right out of the grass. He just popped right out of the grass. It says we got a waypoint right down there. To the right? Listen to Sooch back there having a time. Sooch. We're going to head that way. Oh, I just want to see that frog thing happen again. I'm just going to go. Look at that bed. I, I couldn't. I Did you see him? No, I did. It just looked like I thought I saw a dark spot in the center. It might just be it's a grass or something in there. Just making sure. I like to keep them off. It's weird for everybody at home. We tried to catch them back on that stuff right there all week. Yeah, they just haven't. Really Nothing. Seen them way back. Like. Nothing. They all want to be around that deeper water, it seems like. And that may be because they're late spawners, you know, like right. the majority of the fish here spawn. And uh, the, the, the last ones showing up are the ones, uh, you know, that are, it's hard to believe. You see that grass right on the surface, but these canals are eight and nine foot deep. Right. Some of them are 12. But we've had, we, this is just one, one of those weird years where we didn't have a winter. And typically this time of the year here, you wouldn't even see any grass like that. At all. At all. It'd be down, you know, the, like <laughs> the, one of the best tree farms here is catching the red eye shed. They haven't even been able to throw one this year because right. the grass has been to the surface. Because we had no winter, you know, the water temperature. I mean, we had like one week out of the year where it really got cold, and then after that, I mean, it's just typical. Sound. Yeah, the grass the last year. And it's actually, you know, you can see so much. I mean, it just reminds me of Okeechobee. I mean, it's almost identical yeah. uh, to Okeechobee. And uh, it's kind of that same deal, you know. It, honestly, when you have this much cover, it makes it a little more tricky. I'm sorry. I'm seeing hollow things under there. i got to start flipping. Uh -oh, you've been Can I get under your feet real quick? Buddy? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So Wes, all you're hoping for is somewhere warm. Well, warm with big fish. 
Okay. Uh, what else would you need, Wes? Like, uh, how does you your accommodations need to be? You know, a nice Hampton Inn. Uh-huh. Okay. A little plug there for Hampton Inn. You know, for Perkins close by. <laughs> Perkins. A uh, Perkins, you know. Okay, and a, and a Swizzler. A Swizzler. Oh, my gosh. Sizzler. Purple tea and a Sizzler, yeah, that's it. Huh. Oh, my gosh. Huh. You know, I, you know what, I, 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 I say it, but I, I think that makes good. Make good yes, I really Do you really? This is kind of your test run right here. <laughs> gosh. Gosh. I love it. Well, I think, so I think so everybody's spot on so far. Yeah. Probably the only thing, you know, your wants and needs are probably vary just slightly from everyone else on the planet. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that would right. be the deal. You'd be yeah. on everybody. Did you get that? Did you get, Did you get that? Yeah. What we need to shoot look, this. Look at, look right yeah. Here. You didn't get that. Get the drone out. Wesley, who's been your favorite angler to cover? Uh, Raggy, of course. Well, yeah, I know today. that. Well, you knew it would be today. You know, honestly, yeah. uh, Ike and Ellie is just because you never, ever know what's going to happen. <laughs> I, I could see that. I mean, it's sometimes you're hearing through your life. Right. Uh, you just don't know what he's going to do. You know? you know, the honest thing about that is he probably doesn't either. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. It's like a little something, little clicks. That little dark spot that's in the back of his mind moves to the front. Right. On occasion. I like a little pollen. Do you? It's fun to be around. Right. You don't see that much? You just see that? That's a good dude. And no kidding, actually, one of the things we're on camera is we should be doing that. He's fishing it. A little crazy. Wes, have you noticed my maturity? <laughs> Gotta be in there, Greg. I'm gonna keep us going to the end. Okay. And then we'll idle. Okay. Okay. Now, did you catch any frog in that Okeechobee? No. None? No, I was swimming a jig and flipping. You know, flipping a jig. Did you keep them honest on it? Uh, on the frog? Yeah. Oh, I, dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I never, never fish a derby. I don't keep them honest on right. the frog. Yeah, because Okeechobee looks so good. Right. And I, and I feel like the deal there is when you do catch one, it's a great big one. You know, I'm, and I don't mean on a, you know, uh, like a some type of toad or whatever. I'm talking about a regular right. body frog. Yeah, you know, they you know they crush them there. You know, like throwing this rage swimmer and yeah. throwing a toad and that kind of stuff. But it just it looks like a frog, you know. And you know the deal was for me, I never got on a lot of fish there. I mean, I was on a lot of fish. I never got around a, just a drove right. of big ones. And um, you know, I didn't get any big bites. You know, I was fortunate enough to catch the ones I, that bit me, but. I didn't really have a good, you know, what I'd call a good, you know, I never had a place where I thought I was going to pull up. And win. And win, you know, I mean, I was grinding. Uh, I was getting lots of bites. I just seemed like the areas that I was in, uh, there wasn't a lot of big ones coming and going, you know. Right, They right. were done. I mean, but that, you know, <laughs> no doubt how good it is. We were there at an off time, and there were still multiple 30-pound right. bags, you know, so. Will you see a 30 pound bag of Conroe? You know, you'd like to think so. Really? Well, I mean, dang, you know, it, it's Texas. I mean, it's the land of the giants, you know. Texas, you know, there are about three states where, you know, it really, really goes down at, you know, with giant fish. You know, I, I'm not gonna take Tennessee out of the line as far as 30 pound bags. Okay. But, you know, when it comes to catching a 10 pounder, Florida, Texas, California, are you, you know, our top three, uh, not next to you, 
who are you looking at to catch them in that tournament? Golly, I mean, it's who's who of bass fishing, you know. I mean, um, I mean, there are so many guys that are going to catch them there. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, Such Power Hour. Mm. Uh, you, you know, this is the deal. Spectator boats, it's probably been a Wiley classic since they were really, really bad. And I expect for them to be similar to that. You know, that, that lake is so handy to a big metropolitan area. And a lot of it's going to depend on weather. You know, the long range forecast right now shows the weather to be warm, but you know, a lot of rain, thunderstorms and that type of deal. So, you know, that might cut back. But yeah, I would expect there to see a, uh, you know, but I'm the guy who doesn't go to a football game. I like to watch it on, uh, you know, like to watch it on television because I can sit in my own house and I can see instant replays and all of that. And so I wouldn't be one of those guys that would want to go out there. You know, I'm not telling anybody that not to, you know what I'm saying, but I'm like, with the live coverage now and they got instant replay. And if you, you know, if something happens during break and there's a fish caught, five minutes later, you're going to be able to see it, you know? Right. So I, I'm not, the, I don't really have an opinion on that because like I said, I, I don't, I've been to one football game and, uh, or couple, actually. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. You don't see everybody. What's going on, you know, updated in the classic. There he is. Thanks for the bird dog. <laughs> you back here? Yeah? Okay. We'll start calling. We'll start calling. Call them. Yeah, the lights are just pretty exciting. Oh my gosh. And we'll, uh, <laughs> I watch fly, but occasionally I get two more than I would like to. But and, uh, Live dick. Like it. I'm, I'm, when I'm live, I can't turn it. I like them because I see. I, I enjoy to see catches, of course, but I like to see how. You know, like what what I want to see with live over television. Typically, normal show more of the catch. On live, you see the 15 to 20 catches before you. Right. Are you just you know, see that hat? And all of our bunches like that, they think out loud, and you get to see that. You learn a lot. I mean, I learn a lot. I mean, there's nothing better way that to learn it as to see it go down. You know, somebody can tell you about it, and it'll mean one thing. Uh oh. Nobody's up. That way. Okay, let's go. Okay. Come hold us in the, yeah. in the prime. We're going arm hall. They do. Great, what we're doing. Uh, we're basically now. You know, we found Agent Fit and uh, everything slowed down and they're on a big end of in a big intersection, kind of a high spot on and, you know by that because you know, these fish <laughs> I was you know the fish can happen that I mean this weather is shocking it's two to three days to really knock them out. I don't think it's more different but quarter for you though. Has been. wormhole straight that, that. down that down that big canal right there what's that it should be where yeah. that big canal intersects with the stop short of it yeah you'll be That's able to it. see that intersection right there. when you get up there
gonna switch up a little bit. Now that they're done with that kind of frog deal, we're gonna slow down, start plinking. Let me just start start warming them. Let, stop about a hundred yards short. Yeah. Put this line of cat tail. Yeah. We're just gonna slow up a little bit. We're about gonna. Right here. Because I mean, we'll fix some bigger. And it'll get back to the. Get the yeah. I have experience in this line of cat tails. All right. We got a Such Power Hour coming, don't we, Wes? Yeah, as soon as I get here. Okay. Huh. Such. Such. Hmm, Say it again. How oh, I was just looking at your. Uh, uh, I got a whole bag right there, bud. Right behind you. Right behind you. No wonder I couldn't find it. Look out now. Yep. Yep. Okay. Hey, Suchi. Whenever you're ready, yeah, we bud. Got you. Steve from Arkansas was asking why, why you guys had gone to. Uh, Virginia after the skull front. <laughs> Who said that? Debold. Debo's question: Why yeah, have we not gone to a gym? Started, though, earlier. Why had you not gone earlier? Well, Debo, I'm going to give you my opinion real quick, which doesn't mean a whole lot. It, it, you, you, you had to keep that frog bite honest this morning. <laughs> you had to. If you looked at that footage from yesterday, you had to go back to the well. Go ahead and run it. Go ahead and run it. You had to go back to the well. All right, here, here's a special one. Yep. I want to know what the spirit animal is. You know, my, oh, yeah. the question is, what's my spirit animal? As crazy as this sounds, my spirit animal is Brett, Brent Ayler. It is. I'm not kidding. That dude's on the line. Here's your second question. <laughs> you have two kids. You can't say which one you love more than the other one. Uh, say that again. You can't. You have. Your two boys. You can't say you love one more than the other one. You can never say that. Right. <clears throat> Since you mentioned that, your and Karen's new baby has two godfathers. Can you say which one of the Godfathers is your favorite? Oh, no. <laughs> the question is, well, number one, Harrison Alexander, the question is, what Godfather would I like more than the other, being Tommy Sanchez and Davey Height, correct? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Such, are you with me, bro? Oh, yeah. Um... Well, the thing is, I can't answer that yet, just because Harrison Alexander has not made his way to the world. Um, he's an estimated 17 pounds right now. So when he comes up, I'm telling you, now, now look, you have said I have a melon head. <laughs> that boy is going to have a melon head. <laughs> Poor I have an official related question from J.M. J. Revels. Ah, is it better to flip slash punch lily pads? with your heavy cover cover jig or a Texas rig bait? You know, that kind of depends on time of the year. Um, you know, during the spawn, honestly, this time of the year, Texas rig all the way. Uh, but, Why? Uh, they just seem to be a little more susceptible to it once they really go to spawning. You know, early on, pre-spawn, I would go more with, I like the jig, and post-spawn because they're feeding back up. That jig has a lot of bulk. And uh, another thing about it, when towards the end of the spawn, uh, towards the end of the spawn, you know they okay. they'll they'll get on bluegill because they'll start to bulk up. Now, how do you think that fish felt like like right there, mentally? Like, you know what I mean? And I made this comment. I did a video last week. Stars. I I made a video last week, and I and I talked about this. Could you imagine sitting down in that patch of bulrushes? Big old cheeseburger? Yeah, and a big cheeseburger. No, what I said was like a whole thing of Asian zing wings comes driving oh, by your face, and all of a sudden you're airborne 60 miles an hour. Go ahead. Hey, 
JM Rebels, give them one. All right. Give them a hydro wave. Give them a hydro wave. JM, if you don't have a hydro wave. Hydro wave. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, me. Right here. Yeah, one more question give, for this hour. JM Rebels. I want to give that man a hydro Ooh, wave. I like that wow. guy. Here's a question from Mike Lakotish. Both of you. Okay. You allow one type of bait to fish the rest of your life. What is it? Greg, you want to go first? Ooh, God, one bait the rest of your life. Frog or, I know, I, I'm, but I'm going to talk about both of them. It would either be that popping perch or a frog. I mean, or a, uh, <laughs> either one. Uh, no, it'd be a popping perch or a jig. I'm going to have to pick the jig just because there are going to be days when they're not going to bite the frog, you know. I'm going to go with a tube. Oh. I'm going to go with a tube. Rest of your life. Was it one bait or two baits? One bait. You only pick one bait. Oh, Rest of your life. It's, it's hard not to say a jig. It's just hard not to say a jig. Well, I think the deal with the jig is you can swim it, you can fish it deep, you can flip cover with I mean, there's just so many applications. Such I say in every single seminar, if there's ever one bait to learn in the whole arsenal of life, it's a jig. Just because it works all the time. And not only that, it's just saved us in like 90 shows out of 110 shows. Such fire. Such fire. Oh, you want more? Stephen Green yeah. said he's been seeing Hackney with a soft presentation when he's throwing this, and uh, you kind of chunking it in there. He's kind of asking the. Uh, why and when to use well, either? Who is that? Stephen who Green. is that? Stephen Green. Tell Stephen Green <laughs> when he came out of the gates this morning, just caving my teeth in. There's a thing called spun out. Okay? There's a thing called spun out, and I'm calmed down now that I've caught a few. But I can tell you, for Stephen Green, I, my mind was twisted out for a while. I'm okay now. See, this whole live thing's a little new to me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> See, I'm old hand at it. Uh, exactly. I'm usually just sitting in the studio running my All mouth right. about what Here's somebody's doing wrong. Adam Laney is asking, you know, we, we know you love fishing with Hack, but if you're going to sit down with yeah. three elites just to have a beer and talk, who would it be? And Hack, I'd like to hear yours, too. Well, they're pretty much, my, you know, my only guests that yeah. I, the question is, okay. if there's three elites to sit down not and have fish. a beer with, Stock. not fish, yeah. just have a beer with, is it? well, I can't call Davey one, oh, oh my gosh, God. that was oh, like okay. a 22 went by my skull right there. Hey, do me a favor, make Drop. sure you hit them when they bite. Yeah. Slack the line. You didn't really? Yes, sir. Three elites to have a beer with, I'm going to go with four, four elites to have a beer with. I'm gonna go with him. Okay, then I'm gonna go Van Dam, Ayler, and Cree. Yeah. Hey, can, you, can I ask you a favor? Make sure you hit them when they bite, okay? Oh my gosh, I had to. Did you fish in there? Where's it at? It's right in there. I mean, on the outside or just, no no it was just back in there just i mean yes sir Adam go Stucky. i kind of like what do you believe is the one thing that has helped the sport of bass fishing grow so rapidly here of late adam stuckey question is what is the one thing that's grown the sport <coughs> as of late more than anything I've never seen any. I'm dead serious. I'll let Greg answer this too, but <coughs> I've never seen anything like Bassmaster Live. I'm, I'm still a, a tournament junkie following tournaments and stuff like that. <coughs> to me, Bassmaster Live is the most amazing thing. I mean, I can't, you can't stop watching it. I mean, I give the McKinnis group credit on that because when they... It's weird, when they first unveiled Bassmaster Live, or even this, I mean, I've been more stressed out about this, and it kind of shows this morning, I'm spun out of my mind. Um, and we'll get this, we'll get it. Um, but it, 
I thought they were insane when they said that they were going to do this. I thought there's no way that they can accomplish it. And they did. And, and to me, Greg, you go ahead. It's changed the it's changed mean, bass fishing. Without a doubt. I mean, because think about this now. You would think as much as I fish tournaments and deal with everything, and, and I can't get enough of it. I mean, when it's on, like even if I'm, and I'll be mad when I'm not on there, you know, and be watching it, but I still have to. It is so good. And again, you just learn so much. I mean, I think the internet started it, but we've went so far and beyond that now, you know. We did have, remember when we were just trying a little live footage on, you know? Yeah. And, and now they've, you know, mastered this technology. But, but the other side of that, hey, and I'm gonna say this out loud, you know, like Mark Jeffries and the legend and Panger, those guys really, Pioneers. years, I mean, eight, eight to 10 years ago, they were, they were doing phoners live. I remember the legend out on the lake. I was like, wow, that's awesome too. You know, there, there's a lot of people that, there's a lot of people that have paved the way for where it's, for where really where it's at now. Um, and where, to me, if you look at where it is now compared to where it could be, you know, 10 years from now, heck, you just sit home and watch every event. And never miss a minute of it. Suits will tell the rest for the next Good power day. hour, all right, buddy? Good we'll be back in a few minutes, and I'll tell you what, see that little bank right there? We're going to light them up right there. Don't go anymore. More Zone Alive coming back. Do me a favor. Zone Alive is brought to you by Carhartt. Hullenburg. Motor Guide. And by Power Pole. The county fair, and he would flow down the runway. It wasn't even like he was walking, flowing. Big head, flowing. Panache. How big is his head, though? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Here's what's funny is the last Bassmaster Live, dead serious, the last Bassmaster Live. He was lighting me up to EK back there about having a physically a big head. And he put a visor, you know, it's a horse head. Mine's long, but he put a visor over my head that he wore and it slipped right down to my neck. Uh, he's like Cartman. <laughs> That's terrible, <laughs> terrible. Okay, Cartman. Great, heck, he's like Hartman. Well, Eric's a little bit like Hartman too. Anybody on that worm? Well, I haven't. I'm, I'm feeling around out there. I, I got you. Just went right in the juice, but you get it in there. Bombs away. It's amazing how the grass is down. Yeah. I mean, it's clean out there right now. Really you know clean. what I'm saying? Like. I'm wondering if I, right in there, there's. Right. See, I came through there, it's completely clean. Do you want to get a little update on today? Well, today's been, I mean, I, I, I gotta tell you, today's been, I'm happy with it. I, I mean. I mean, it's the test run. It's the test run, I, and here's the thing, we're gonna, at doing Zona Live, we're gonna suck at it. We're gonna do good. It's just like doing a Zona show. It's just the elongated version. Um, but I'll tell you, it to see the bites. He here's what's funny is to see the bites he got on a frog, with it being 39. We were worried this morning that we wouldn't get a bite, a bite, or if we did, they wouldn't get it. Um, so I, I mean, I'm happy with that. And here's the other thing. I'm not too proud. My buddy stabs him on a frog, have at it. But we, we had a pretty good vibe. This is how it was gonna be today. It was gonna be a grinder. You know, if you, it's so strange. <laughs> like the morning he had, I'll take that on any Zona show on earth and run with it. You know, it, it, uh, oh, 
But what, what's, what's interesting is, no matter where you're at, a cold front's still a cold front. You could feel that right there. That's raw. Oh, let me see it. A little jerkin. Yeah. Sooch! I gotta call the Sooch out real quick. I got a text during break. Fighters, Seth Fighter said he wants a piece of, of a zone alive up at Mill Axe. And he wants to be added to that table of who I'd pick to hang with, too. I forgot him. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Heck, I know the folks at home want to see you go flipping today. It's getting to the point I want to see you go flipping. I don't think we've flipped since we've been here. Really? I mean, not much. Just that? No. There he is. Get him. There you go. Do you have one? No, grab. Okay, a little worm bite. He was right where he was supposed yep. to be. Little worm bite. But this is a good, uh, honestly, it's a good lesson at home. Those fish hadn't got caught up. It doesn't matter if it's your home lake, wherever it's at. Those fish hadn't, that front had not affected them the first hour of daylight, but now you could feel they have done tightened up. You know how that one bit it? Tick, 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 boom. Yeah. Come on. Are cells doing okay through this area, Wes? I think so. Okay. You're done with that jerk bait, aren't yes, you? Yes, sir. Sense, yes, sir. Well, I mean, I'm throwing on a place that I know got them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But don't think I want to go through the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not scared to adjust and make adjustments. You know, I tell you, what's what's funny is talking about Bassmaster Live is, I think the the, the most interesting thing about when we did live, the very first live, Casey, Casey Ashley was the first person to catch a fish on live. It was at the Lake Hartwell Classic that he won. And I'll never forget, we had so much anxiety, stressed, man. I mean, if, if Sanders and I were stressed, I can't imagine how the producers were going into that now they the producers of that played it off like oh we're gonna be fine you know and it, but it was weird like everybody woke up to all right what's this gonna be and i'll never forget that was the classic that van dam didn't make remember the hartwell one greg mm -hmm. and he was he was doing some commentating with us and I, i'll never forget when that camera went live i don't know who the cameraman was to get credit. Who was it? It was Rick Mason. Rick Mason was all of us sitting there in the expo at, at the set and we were in awe. It was, it was, what was weird was it was hard to commentate because you were like, wow. And then he caught one and I, I'll never forget the look on Van Damme's face. He was stunned. He was like, you know, and, and, and I'll tell you, and I've always said this doing live with Sanders is, is to me, 
Oh gosh. To me, one of the most amazing things about live has not been watching tournaments won. It's been watching guys that have started off leading Greg, and then you watch patterns and techniques that fall apart. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Huh? Yes, I do. I know exactly what you mean. I have a question. Yes, sir, Wes. Is it okay if I ask you a question? Wes question. Go ahead, this bud. It could be an award-winning question. Just let me know. But would you be disappointed if it's not? No. Okay, good. Um, and this is for Hatton, because oh, wow. I've, I've been covering, you know, pro fishing for a long time. <coughs> Once or twice, haven't you? And you you mentioned this a minute ago, you're not scared to change. I've seen so many times where guys will stick with something and it fails, and I've seen it where they stick with something and even though they're getting uh -huh. five or six bites a day, it winds up working. How in the world, and I still don't, I, after all these years, I still don't understand. But is it a gut? Is it something you see? What makes you decide to completely abandon what you're doing and go do something completely different? You, you know, a lot of times what you don't see the day that you're in the boat with those guys, you don't know what happened the day before, before they made it with a camera guy. Because typically, you know, a lot of times that won't, that you don't have a camera guy every day. And so, you know, maybe the day before you caught a big sack, but a lot of times that, you know, when you come in and weigh in and you look like a hero, you know what you went through to catch those five bass. And a lot of times you just get the feeling that it's going away. You know, it took me twice as long that yesterday to catch them, and I think it's time for making make of adjustment. Maybe I've been saving something that's on the other end of the lake, and nobody knows that because they haven't seen it yet. You know, and uh, it, it, it's all a gamble in a way, but most of all those guys go with their gut. You know, when they feel like it's time to move. And I always remember this, hindsight's 2020. It'd be nice if we had that, you know, before, but we don't, you know. So uh, it's a guessing game. You know, we're dealing with an animal that we can't see, and we're just guessing where he is right now and what we need to be throwing. And, does, and that, uh, does that go back even to, like, when you were practicing and maybe there was a weather change? or I mean, just Yeah, it does a lot of times, you know, because this is the deal. Half the time when I'm practicing, I'm having to think how I'm going to catch them during the tournament because I'm practicing under totally different conditions. Uh, the summertime is about the only time where you're dealing with day in and day out, basically the same weather conditions. And that's the time of the year when fish get on a spot and they stay there for a couple months or around the same area. You know, like now we're fishing, it's changing every day. I mean, just like this, you, we'd have never dreamed we've had this severe cold front, you know, this far south, this late in the year, the way the weather's been. But, you know, now we're dealing with it. Because all we needed to do was throw that swimmer, swimmer jig, and throw a frog, and we could have caught them every day had the weather stayed right. A hundred. Yeah, and now we're plinking a cutter worm around, you know, uh, to get some bites right now. So you're always dealing with that. When I'm practicing, and I let's just say I hypothetically I go down that row of cattails right there, and I, you know, I get me some frog bites or swimming a jig, whatever, and then I, and I, but I'm watching, and all of our bunch does that. You know, we're watching the weather five or six days out. And that first day of practice is Monday, and, the fi and then Friday is the, the cut day. Well, I mean, there's five days between the first day you practice and the, the day when the cut is made the first time. And so, um, you know, half the time I'm thinking about two or three different other lures that I'm going to be able to catch those fish on because I'm not going to have that perfect weather that I may have on Monday or Tuesday or, you know, on Wednesday. So it's always, and, uh, and in our bunch, it seems like the guys who do the best are the ones who can think the fastest on the fly you know, who are not afraid to call an audible, you know, and, and give up what they got and, you know, and do something different. Or the deal is they flip that area all week and that final day, you know, they're like, I need to be throwing a frog and pick it up and catch 22 pounds. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, there's a handful of guys uh, in our group that can do that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? They're really, really good at that. And then my next question to follow up with that is, so you have an area of the lake or a couple, three areas of the lake that what do you do? Like, do you feel like you ever run out of fish? That you have to do something different? And, and can you, when you think about, well, maybe I'm going to be fishing in somebody's water, and you don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you take a chance, you know, of that that last part when you, uh, you know, when you stay in one area all week, and then you you start moving around, that you might move on top of someone else that's already established in an area. Uh, but it, it is amazing for me, like. 
like I was a really good one day fisherman, like fishing local events growing up. And, you know, I'd figured out a way to catch five big ones in one day. And, uh, but it, that adjustment to fishing four days took me a long time. It really did. I, uh, I didn't know how to practice for it. I mean, cause it takes so many fish and it's not necessarily that you're gonna catch that many in four days. The deal is it takes enough to be able to get them to bite over four days. And uh, so you have, it does, it takes a lot of area and a lot of fish because this is the deal. It, you have to be around a lot of fish to catch five good ones or the five that you need, you know, and uh, so it does, it takes a lot of fish and lots of area. And with our bunch, it's hard to find an area without a bunch of fishermen. Who's the best at it? The best at? being able to just pull the cord? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, this is the deal. I, I, I can't really say anything about our group because there are so many of them, and I don't want to call one name and someone right. else get insulted. I'll just tell you this. They're the top 15% the top on the elites are amazing people. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I always find weird covering it? And, I, and I've talked about this through the years of covering you guys, you are so much faster at knowing when you're doing something wrong than, you know what I mean? What, what, the ten, what, I, what I mean by that is the tendency, the tendency is if you go out and have a sucky day as a fisherman, you get done and you drive home and it, you sit there and say, I know what I should have done. I know what I should have tried that motor is so much faster with you guys of being on the water and being like, this is not the deal. Like, like right now. You're like, like this is, this not, is the not the deal. <laughs> this is not the deal. This is not the deal. You guys are catching more top water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got to get it going. But, but if that makes sense, you guys are able to cancel things out a lot, lot quicker than... All right. I'm gonna get some stuff put away. Okay. Hashtag Zone Alive, any questions? We've got one more big giveaway. We've given away a $100 power pole gift certificate. A we've hydro wave. We've given away a hydro wave, uh, two Trocar gift packs, and we have got one grand finale prize that is just, I mean, it's, it, you know what it is, Greg. It's a rainmaker. It's hashtag rainmaker. Oh gosh. Yeah, but how do I feel so far for the first zone alive? I'm good. I've always thought about like, you know, I've had, we really talked about doing this for, we talked about doing it for, you know, two, two and a half, three years now about doing zone alive. But I wanna go to places that people want us to go to. Um, I wanted to come to Gros Savant to start with for the simple fact that- It's where I wanted to go. It's where he wanted to go. <laughs> Um, but at, you know, the, the majority of the other places that we're going to be going is places y'all can go to. Um, don't get me wrong. We're still going to, what's that? Well, exa no, well, I mean, we're, you know, the other three this year are public lakes, but I also wanted to come here because number one, we had to, we did a Zona show yesterday, but, um, I, I knew just getting our wheels under us for the first zone alive that it was just a good place to come where, where we were gonna get some bites and things were gonna happen. Um, and, you know, this is a feeling out process. Like I said, um, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna suck at this and we're gonna eventually get it. But I all, you know, besides regular Zona show, I see in, in, in a year or two, you know, doing six to 10 of these a year uh, throughout the country. Let's catch this one side fish. Catch one side fish? Yeah, let's catch one side fish. You, you see one? Fish? Maybe. Uh-oh. Let's see if he came back. No, we didn't. He might have. Did you find a spawner? I might spawner! have found a spawner. What's that? A spawner. Where is he? Was he locked? He was sitting right in that nest right there. Oh, gosh. You know? I but see the nest. he did swim off. Right? You know what I'm saying? When I, As I pulled the boat by. You see the bed, Wes? He did, uh, you know, he did. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Yeah, he's got it now. Does he, he got it? I think he does. Yeah. That was awesome. That was so awesome. I love you, bud. Called us a I love spawner. you. Spawner! Spawner! 
look at that. I think he calls. I think he does. We'll just I put think, him in there and we'll call him. Why wouldn't we? Good job. Did you see him swim back in? <laughs> I said, I think he's got it. Good job, bud. Ah, ah. Hey, you. Because I'm the man of yeah. the hour? Yeah. Come on up here with Oh, me. no. Oh, no. Let the little kid come up. Got he's him. Sitting right there. Got him. Got him. <laughs> oh, gosh. While I fix my worm, hopefully I hit the bottom. I don't know. Oh, he took off fast. Oh, did he? Yeah, but he's coming back. I'm hoping the poles are yeah, I know. pretty deep. He's back, he's back under this. He's tucked under here. Oh, gosh. Let's drift around. I, the poles might not have come. Greg, where were all those spawners at up there? I don't know. We never saw the first one. And just as soon as I looked, uh, I was No, like, you remember where I was talking? Yeah. Where we saw all those the yeah. other evening. No, he's under this. He's under this hay grass. He didn't come back yet. Dang, he was out there good. I... There he is. There he is. Wait, wait. Oh, dang. That's, that's the same nest I just caught that one off of. Yep, 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 oh. yep, yep. Well, we might have. We kind of got it jacked got, up. Yep. I just happened to look up and he was sitting right there. Oh, gosh. Can we just peel off down that bank? I don't know. I, see, that's a flat spot right there. Right. And, uh, the rest of that bank was pretty steep. I just happened to look and see that one up there on that nest. Oh, this could get interesting. Yeah, I'm just wondering if a lot of these fish didn't come up yesterday. You know what I'm saying? With like, the moon. With the moon. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, we went from frogging to flipping to worming to sight <laughs> fishing. What a all. mess. Just, what a mess. What zone of life is this? It's wide open. What's that? I, mean, man, I can't see, but. Boy, there are a lot of beds. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Could you I, imagine if it was 80 right now? The day we came down through here, it was blowing 35, yes. you know? Yeah. Easy to put this a little bit farther. We're not too far up here from where we're going to go out at, you know. So. Go flipping. What, 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 what? Doug, what? you seeing any on that side? Locked on? Locked? Yeah, 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 yep, 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 got it. There was a whole line of beds right through there, wasn't there? Oh gosh. I'd like this to start. Get a warm. I need a warm. There's, there's a another wiggler. There's another bed right yeah, there. Yeah, I know. I see that. I need a wiggler. Oh my gosh. They're not on all of them, but... Wes, can you see that bed? Did he come back? No. What are you on that other... Uh... I'm going to let the wind push us back. Change the angle? Yeah. Greg, they might be all along here. We'll see you along for yeah. a little bit, because we're... We're heading in our right, 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 direction right. of the... Uh... There he is, there he is, little guy, little guy. See him, see him, see him, see him, see him? He's coming right out here. Spawners. That's amazing how stuck that one was. We'll go back over and see how came back. Sure, right here. sure. Oh. Yeah, I put him down because I didn't want to drift up on top of that. Yeah, he was stuck. Yeah. I was like, he come right back. And then, 
Oh gosh. It's like looking in an aquarium. It right? is too. It is. I'd kind of like to go through some of the, I'd, I'd really like to go through some, uh, while we're doing this, go through some of the fish catches from yesterday and today. Oh, 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 oh. See him? No. On the uh, right there, yeah. Go ahead and talk about this, uh, man, I yesterday's catches were it was insane. It was a bit. I caught it. honestly, Got him. when we came out yesterday, yeah, nice. It was instant how nuts it went, it just went crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's gone. Um. I don't, you know, being from Michigan, we just don't have a lot of lakes that we're able to, that we're able to catch them on frogs. And we came out in yesterday. March? Huh? In March? <laughs> Michigan frog fishing is not that good in March? I know, as crazy as that sounds. And to be able to come out yesterday and that footage was just, it was insane. And you know that You know that you're getting getting the goods because the, the cam cameraman Wes was like, oh yes, yes. Greg, we're gonna slide right along this okay. North Berm and the North Berm. We're gonna find a couple stuck here, but it was you know, the, the weird thing is having to go home and, and now I'm going to have to break ice for the next month. Uh, that, that's just, a, it's, it's, it's hard to, to gra grasp that concept of catching spawners and frogfish. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> ha -ha. Not for me. Ha -ha -ha. I'm thinking a Conroe, a Toledo Bend. Maybe a Ross Barnett for me. You know, upcoming. It's where I'll spend my time the next couple weeks. You know the cool thing about all those places? Yeah. The farthest one is Conroe from my house. Four and a half hours. Loving that, aren't and not you? That I, and this is the deal with that. I don't get an opportunity to spend any time on those places, but it is cool to have a tournament. Right. When the tournament's over, I can just drive right home, you know? That doesn't happen a lot. Now, will you between tournaments, fish lakes are like maybe on the schedule a year from now or two years from now, do you do that? Uh, no, I prefer if I'm going to do any pre-fishing to fish for the ones that are on our schedule. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, maybe if it's a deal where, uh, you know, if we're up in an area and we know the next year we're going to come back to that area about the same time, maybe there's a lake handy on the way home or something, I'll do that. But, uh, you know, the deal is I spend a lot of time on the road and uh, occasionally I do like to go home. <laughs> uh, but um, you know, I've, I've already rode around at one little old, you know event we got upcoming. You know, I've spent some time, and I'm gonna, another place I'm gonna fish a few days. Uh, I don't do a lot of free fishing. I don't enjoy it, honestly. <laughs> I hate to say that, but I enjoy to go fishing and whack their heads. I'm not too much on just riding around someplace looking to where I might catch one. Snooping. Yeah, I ain't a big snooper. I'm a freaking swinger. You know what I'm saying? I go, I go somewhere to fish. I'm finna, I'm, something's fixing to get. And I, I hate that about me, but like early on in my career, I tried that, you know, all that pre-fishing and all that. Oh, yeah, got time for that. I enjoy to go fishing, you know, and I do at home. I do quite a bit of fishing at home. You Greg, know, you, you fish as fish. much as any pro I know. What's that? I mean, you fun fish as much as anybody. Yeah, I, I like to, I feel like, you know, going and catching fish helps you. It help. you know, I mean, it just getting all your equipment. Like doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I always like before the season starts, I really try to start fishing at least a month before. I do enjoy the deer hunt, and uh, I do a little bit of that in the wintertime. 
but uh, that month before we start, you know, I get my boat and I rig it out and get my stuff in it. And, you know, and I typically put three hours on my motor. I mean, I'll put a lot more time of that on it, breaking it in, but I get that first three hours on there and then I go fishing. And, uh, and then I try to fish three or four days a week, you know, before we get started. And, I, and while I'm doing that, I know there are guys, you know, at lakes we're going to, uh, but the main thing for me is, is when I go out here and figure them out fishing, that's what I got to do every day. And it don't really matter to me if it's here, there, or over there, you know. Right. I just like to go fishing and figure them out. Uh, now, what I do catch myself when I'm fun fishing a lot of times, once I figure them out, I have a tendency to back off and go home. You know, because All that's done. the main part, you know, that we're trying to do is to, you know, to figure out how to catch them. And once we do that, you know, uh, it just depends. But I do. I fish a lot. I just don't pre-fish at our events a lot. Like I said, I, I've, I've ridden around it on... Uh, you pre-pre-practice. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I don't know. I like to keep a, a clean mind. You know, what works for a lot of people doesn't work for me. If I go there and spend a week, I'm gonna be locked into something, an area or something. If I, if I, you know, if I go there and I've never been there or I haven't been there in a year, or so I just, you know. Oh yeah. Sure. Hey, Uncle Greg, can I ask you a favor? Would you mind if I asked you a favor? Ask me. Can we go flipping? I'm ready. Let's go. I mean, you know what? We could sit here and and doink around with. Okay. Hey, Wes. I'm going to put some stuff up. And let's see in what we can do. Loving it. I'm loving it. In the boat! I heard it. <laughs> Welcome to Zone Alive. <laughs> Look at that one. Give it up, man. Give it up. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. You get uh, credit oh. on the audio. You have What's come that? out to play today. You have come out so to play can. today. Oh. Put him in a live well. Oh, oh gosh. I am fishing the wrong side of the lake. Good hey, job, Greg. Bubba. Yeah, here's my idea. Let's go flip our area. Okay. I'm talking about Hackney Live. Really uh -uh. Oh my gosh. It's not a very big. But it's a frog fish. Yes. Uh -uh. I never even heard him. Just kind of slipped up there and got it. Well, basically it was to come to Gros Savant and throw a Strike King popping purse. That was probably the best advice I've ever had. <laughs> I got invited here by a guy named Dub Miller. What a bite, man. Little guy. I saw him. Boy, he just yeah. shocked it. He shocked that raised swimmer. Here he is right there. Oh my gosh, was that great! Just yeah, but uh, let's not go in this. Uh, let's not. We're, we're gonna start right here and fish, but we're gonna go in the same way we did the other day, and let's fish up the right. You know what I'm saying? Up the canal. Yeah. And then pop out yeah. into the. I'm just gonna pop right now. Sounds good to me. There he is. Yeah, you love it. just the way the conditions are. You maybe that water was kind of green the other day too. You know. Oh. Love it. Uh oh. Might have been 
coming in a little. Uh oh. Got a little salad up here on the front of the Say boat. Again, friend. Need some Caesar on top of it. Oh yeah. Oh, I'd like to get a few flipping bites, Wes. You know what I mean, boy? Hey, Wes. I always like to ask you, what would you do right now? Mm. Huh? Mm. Throw a spinner bait. Uh, dude, I'd absolutely probably throw a spinner bait. <laughs> I love it. That's exactly what I'd probably do. I know. Butterflies, though. I mean, let's get some vintage hack attack flipping. Let's get all the kids out. Let's get all the kids out. Hey, are we live right now? I think so. Come here. Come <laughs> here. We don't even know if we're live or not. I... Hey. What are you doing? Here's what we're gonna do. We're getting ready to go. We're getting ready to go doing Greg's specialty right now, going flipping. But here's one thing I wanna tell all you hardcore flippers at home that just absolutely love flipping. And this is actually, this is, this is not a weird sales pitch, but you know, heavy punch in and ounce, ounce and a half Florida stuff. And, and then there's a lot of lighter flipping, you know, quarter, three eighths and stuff like that. I wanna show you real quick. Look at this. I wanna show you something real fast. This size right here. This is probably the most underutilized size for flipping on planet Earth. That's a 5 eighths, okay? A 5 eighths. If you think about it, there's a quarter, there's 3 eighths, there's half ounce, and then it jumps to 3 quarters. There's very few companies that make a 5 eighths ounce weight. And Greg, tell our friends at home how luscious a 5 eighths is, and it's rarely used. You know, there's just so many times out there when, a, you know, that half is not big enough, but a three quarter is way too big. You know what I'm saying? It's a big difference between a half ounce and a three quarter, and that five eighths just kind of fits that market. It's just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, in the warmer months, I would probably say it's my number one flipping weight to the start five with. Yeah, the five eighths. But if you think about it, if you sit and think about it at home, Three years ago, four years ago, you couldn't even find a 5A sounds weight. You couldn't even find one. And now you can. The other side of that is straight shank hook and just cock it hook a little bit to the side. Cock it a little bit to the side when you're flipping. That's a uh, TK135 trocar. Come. <laughs> just cock that hook just, just off to the side. Really do that on any of your hooks whenever you're, whenever you're using a soft plastic. Like he was using a, a swim bait today. Just cock it right or left a degree or two. And it'll just stick him a little bit better. Craig, while you're getting us up there, I'm gonna throw that swimmer for a little okay. bit, if you don't mind. Knock yourself out. Yeah, I see, see beds everywhere. I mean, we have trashed this boat already. Because you say a spinner bait every time we go fishing. Wes, have you been with us when we fished any here? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Did you ever see a spinnerbait being thrown a little bit? Didn't I? Weren't you on those trips? Light them up. Light them up. You know, I'm just saying, I'm just going. Light them up. What I do is I just typically like to go on past experience from like the day before. Light them up. You know? Rough talk them. No, no, no. I'm just, basically, I'm just asking him a question. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's a, another little old uh, What's that? deal right there. I don't know why I missed that. Look at that bed right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my Dude. gosh, look at that bed. Wes, look at that bed. There was a dark spot in there. That's not a fish in there? No. Wow. All right. Look what you're jacking around.
get in that crack. What's that? I'm gonna get in that crack. You know, the water's only dropped about a degree and a half since we've been here this morning. Is that it? Yeah, but that's quite a bit during the daytime right. when the sun's shining. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think this will, Wes, I think this will be how TV shows are, fishing shows are done in five years from now. I really do. I think there will still be edited fishing shows, but I think there will be more live fishing show. I really do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like live volleyball. I de exactly. I mean, they still rerun ball games, you know, but later on. Right. But most everybody likes to watch it live. I am totally ready. So, Greg, give me a good suit. Uh, Zeke, so fire. You ready? Rock and fire. Go. Go. What's worse? Not catching fish or losing fish? Which, which one gets you angrier? Losing fish. What is worth? Not catching fish or losing fish? Both suck equally. Oh, no, you got to pick one's worth. Bo Bo I think, I, here's what's weird. I, I will say losing fish, exponentially worse. The reason why, I like that question. I like that question. Who's that from? It's, from the, it's forwarded from the Bass Nation people forwarded from Bass Nation. Here's what I can tell you. I remember fish I lost, Such, way more than ones I've caught in my life. Yeah. Really? Good question. Liked it. Yes. 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 All right, yes. Greg. All right, Greg. How exactly are you going to manage to adjust to the Armada on, on Championship Sunday of the Classic when you got a four-pound lead? You got a four-pound lead. You know, I... <laughs> Ooh. Honestly, I feel like if I go into the classic. The question a, is, how is he going to adjust to his armada on the last day of the classic with a four pound lead? Oh, I'd like to climb up in that brain right there. Get him, get in the boat! Just like that. Get I love it. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, you know, I just don't think there's going to be any problems if I got a four pound lead in the last day of the classic. I'm going to be right where I want to be. All right, next. All right, next. Like Will it, Manley. I like it. When you're jig fishing in colder temps, say mid to low 40s, do you change from blade to, to floral, jig size, or both? Whoa, whoa. Steering wheel. Say it again. When you're jig fishing in colder say temps, again, so what do you change? Brady floral, jig size. The question is when you're. When you're yeah, fishing like in colder temps, what do you change? Well, yeah, well, <laughs> you know what's interesting, and now I live it, it up where it's a cold all the time. Craig, could I bother you for a baby or for a rodent? Oh, uh, what flavor? I don't don't really matter. How about this? Is that yeah, perfect. Um, here's what I can tell you, and I mean this sincerely. One of the, and I send Greg videos all the time. One of the... Of all kinds. <laughs> of all kinds. I cannot stress all kinds enough. I can he tell you. He does send me videos of all kinds. That, I sincerely mean this, fish do not... <laughs> <laughs> all kinds. Fi all kinds. All kinds of videos. Oh, God. He has a library that you would not believe. Fish do not get as inactive as people think in cold weather. Really, I, I, I truly believe that. And he has a video of all kinds to prove it. A serious one from Colonel Voodoo. Ooh. That's kind what of is the one thing you would change, modify about the current Bassmaster Elite series? You know, the number of tourneys, the format, the number of anglers, what? Repeat the question. Okay, the question was, what would I change about the current Elite series? Like, you know, uh, probably the thing, <laughs> and this will go back to what we talked about a little while ago. My deal would be is when they announce the tournament the year before, the it's lake goes off. off. It's cut off. It goes off limits. 
okay, that's one thing. Like no one would go there. They wouldn't ride around anything. Couple days practice ahead of thing. The other thing I would do is cut one day of practice out. We would basically have two, I wish that we got there, we practiced Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday was an off day, it was the day we went to the meeting, the day that we worked on our equipment, our tackle, and got prepared for the tournament. The only two changes, and you know, maybe first place instead of being 100,000, it was 100 million. Right. You know, okay. maybe another little thing I might change, but the first two things would See, be first on the list. you got anything on that list to change? Would you change anything in the tournament format? Oh, I think every single tournament should be on Lake St. Clair, Lake Erie, and Lake Ontario. That's okay, it. That's what I would change. So what's better, oatmeal cream pies or nutty bars? Are oatmeal cream pies or nutty bars better? I'm not a big fan. Oh, gosh. I'm not a big fan of either one. Maybe we should have started flipping earlier. <laughs> There's a bunch of people at home going, you dumbass. <laughs> well, so far they've been a little on the, that one felt better though. Did it? That you one know, right there? Yeah, it was heavy. God, it just roughed the teeth marks, but. Greg, you heard some more Good rock ass. What, today, what space a Minotaur would make after missing something like that? Do it, you give me a good one, give me a good one. Whoa. Uh, what do you think about going enough, back yes. to Mill Axe this year, Hack? Not a, you know, <laughs> again, y'all, you put me on the spot when you asked me those questions, but I really enjoyed going to Mill Axe. It's a great fishery. Um, I hope the wind doesn't blow, you know. But again, it's kind of one of those deals. I, you know, I don't know. It's a great fishery. Got giant smallmouth, probably one of the, one of, by far one of the best smallmouth fisheries I've ever been on. So, uh, you know, oh, I look forward good. to it as long as we don't have some, you know, 20 mile an hour wind. It is good. It is good. All right, if Bass, Bass had a, uh, Caleb Palco is asking if Bass had a blue collar comedy tour. We got Zona Swindle and who else would get in there? If Bass had a blue co collar comedy tour, Zona, Swindle, and, oh, I put Poroznik at the top. Yeah? What about a Steve Kennedy? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. I ain't no poacher. <laughs> oh, that's so, you, know, you call me a poacher? You the poacher? That's not Kennedy, just FYI. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, it's Wheels to coming off. Getting... One hour left. One hour left to start. start. Coming off. Welcome to the pleasure room. Oh. Go ahead, sir. Keep it All fire, right, Greg, brother. you watch footage. This is from Justin Lapjack. You watch footage of other competitors. Justin Lucas. Justin and, Lucas. Boy, he's a and who would be the first that. person you you know want to watch video of them fishing? Not the weird zone videos. The fishing videos. You know, honestly, like, there he is. Come out of there. Um, you know, back in the day, like, one of, like, I, I always enjoyed to watch, and I still go back and watch old Bassmasters. I enjoy to watch Biffle, Denny Breyer, Klein. I mean, I just, you know, I just, they were real intense, you know, and typically it was big poles and big hook sets. I always enjoyed watching them fish. Uh, and you know, I'll be yeah. honest with you. It's not that I don't enjoy to catch them on a spinning rod. I don't enjoy to watch it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like on TV, when a guy fights a six pound smallmouth on six pound line for 35 minutes. Easy cowboy, I, that, easy cowboy. You know, that ain't my gig. Easy. I mean, for me, I like to see a guy blow a six pounder over the side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just raw. Come over here. Get over here. Fish in the mats, little guys. One more, Jason Good. Do it, do it. Jason Good. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Jason Good. Hack. What is the one skill you feel has propelled you into the uh, professional levels where you've attained here? <laughs> you know, it could be a negative. I, I, I would probably my hard headedness to an extent. You know, probably that deal that goes back for me. Is just doing things my way. Oh gosh, there's a big one. 
Was it? Was it? it looked like it was. Yeah, she got it. Get it. Nice. But, um, nice. You know, I, like if I hear anything about a lake or whatever, I typically zig when everybody else zags. You know what I'm saying? Like if they're like, it's all about the, the south end of the lake, I'm going to the north. I just kind of like to do my, uh, you know, do my own thing. That's probably just try to stay away from everybody. I don't like to see anybody during the tournament, honestly. And it's not that I like to be by myself, but definitely during an elite series. No, one more one question more, on the hour. What's the best Chad. technology improvement in the last 10 years? In fishing equipment. Best technology improvement in 10 years? The past 10 years. Those poles on the back of my boat. Hands down. Two things. Poles on the back of my boat and mapping. Lake Mass, that, that mapping and those poles, to me, that's it. Those two things. Incredible, Incredible what they've done to Hands fishing. down, the GPS and those poles. Without them, I'm pretty much lost. I'm lost with them at times. Yes. Such good questions. We're going to take a time out, and we're going to come back, and we're going to flip the rest of the day of the week. Be back in a minute, Zone Alive. Zone Alive is brought to you by G. Loomis. Boat US. TH Marine. And by Bass Mafia. We are going to flip the entire last hour. Win, lose, or draw. Now I did get a uh, Sooch, I did get a uh, hashtag zone alive from the Godfather in Las Vegas saying you need to rough talk Sooch for better questions for this last hour. Sorry, not me, him. Not me, him. I need to? No, no. Oh, let's make it happen this last hour, bud. I mean, let's make it rain. One big gorilla slouch. Just See, I'm getting my feet under me doing this now. I, I'm getting it. I want some vintage hackney on that set of reeds out there. I mean, old school. I mean, it feels like <laughs> slow fishing weather. I mean, wow. You, you think? I mean, the freaking water temperature's dropping since we've been out here. I mean, I'm still in gloves. I could probably take them off, but I don't want to. Hey, I'm happy with it. I got to see frog fish caught in 39 degree weather. I've never seen that. Yeah, but it finally went away. I mean, we, did, we <laughs> caught think? the very tail end of that. I'm like, I... <laughs> Where have I not? I mean, typically always our first couple of events, you know. I mean, how about this? We we start at Cherokee the first morning. It's blowing snow sideways oh, gosh. it's 35. The next morning we get up, it's 18 degrees out. I mean, I, I really didn't even feel like I could fish that day till like, I don't know, 1030 when it got above freezing. Oh, I God, saw your bra bounce. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right there. Right, right in through that little wad of hyacinth. Yeah. Ripped all my, I'm out of skirt. Dang it. Dang it. I saw your rod bounce. Don't. 
And I would be needing to see if What I do you need, bud? I don't, I ripped the, it ripped the. Dang. Something's going to happen in here, bud. I mean, he was just, boy, they're, they're not very, I mean, they just mush, you know, when they bite. Right. You had her in there a while too. I did. It, even that one I caught a while ago, it took two yeah. or three, you know, at least two or three hops before. Right. Uh, it did something? Oh, you just missed a call from Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> we must! <laughs> Trev, what's he doing today? He's all good. Chasing walleye. Come on, Biggin. Come on. Greg Hackney Power Hour. Hey Such, did we get did we get some ideas for different lakes to do these on? Sharon wow. Sharon Loretta Harris Lake? Sharon Loretta Harris? I need to look into that. I like that idea. I do too. <laughs> What's going on over there? I like it, Suge. Oh, I saw your rod. Your rod it went. Doom. Well, the deal was I had picked up right. and it was just swelled and it just went. And I was like, mm. and I'm trying not to rush them, you know? No, I know. That's the one we got bit out of, right? That one. Yeah, yeah. We never fished that one, mm -mm. right? And we were just kind of blowing around when yeah, we, we were, were right planking. here. You know what I'm saying? We just we were planking. We were still just kind of learning. Sharon Loretta Harris Lake. I like that idea. I like that. So, say that again. I, I think it's in one of the Carolinas. Oh gosh, they've been catching like, I don't know, there's two dudes that caught like 40 pounds and then backed it up with like 43. I mean, some crazy weights. Crazy weights for that part of the country, you know, too. Oh, I hope they're in here. That would be so delicious for the last Greg Hackney Power Hour. Oh, slow shit. I think what I'll do is circle around. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So we'll be against So we don't the, blast it? Yeah. We'll okay. be against the wind in the... See, the last time we were here, gang, you see this hay grass? That's all you needed to do was fish that hay grass. But you know, the deal is this time the fish are just so much farther along, you know, that was in February. Right. And it's just a lot, you know, and it's kind of typical for the way you think they're just, they're doing everything, you know. Right. There's some spawning, there's some done, there's some not spawning, you know, just. And then we've had this freakish weather change that has not been, you know. No, it's worked though. It's all. Oh yeah, it's still been good, yeah. you know. It's always it's, good. It's still good. I mean, but this place is 200 bass a day, you know, when it's just decent. <laughs> you know, like just decent. I just want to pick up and it not move. For everybody at home, cameraman Wes loves, loves flipping shows. It's his favorite? Loves them.
Whew. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it is a, it is a no. <laughs> it's blowing. I mean, it's nasty. Oh, I just want one to catch it right when it. It's all good. I could tell you, I think the folks at home, I think our friends at home are really gonna enjoy, I mean, don't get me wrong, to start off, to start off frogging them today, I think the folks at home are really gonna enjoy where we're headed next. We're not gonna say it till the morning of, but I think y'all are really gonna, it's gonna be special. Unless it blows like this. <laughs> Do you wanna drop any hints? No, no hints, Wes, I can't do it. I can't do it. I told Van Damme I would not do it. It may not be somewhere y'all would expect. Oh, we got it. Would I ever do one that's not bass fishing? Why would you do that? Why would you ever do Well, I... Well, maybe sharks. Sharks I'd be into. Didn't you guys go to Venice? We did go to Venice. Oh my gosh, that was so long ago. We've gone to Venice twice together. Yeah, we have. It we have. But the last time, maybe four years? Say it again. Maybe four years? Yeah, about four years ago. We've gone two times. One time we went sharking. One the time we went. The shark show, yeah. Complete absurdity. And then we did, uh, and then we did uh, all big redfish. No, it was Jack Cravel. Yeah. Jack Cravel, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. That was insane. No, he's not, no, he's not. But I'm going to have to get around the other side, he's going to cut you line. Yeah, just don't look out. Nice. I get around the other side. That's a big something. That's a big something. Did I call it? Oh, is he going back to the other side? No. Oh, yeah. The ram yeah, yeah, beast yeah. of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he he hooked something on a... <laughs> on a 2.5. On a 2.5, and we fought it for like an hour. Oh, what a body, he lost dude. it. He finally oh straightened the hooks. Yeah. He lost oh it and didn't gosh, talk for like two body. hours. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You bet. Could you hear me, Wes? Wes, get this. can you hear me? Oh, no. Get over Oh, here. my gosh. The, it, what was funny was we pulled up to that, we pulled up to that bulkhead, and basically that's the end of Venice. That, that, it just, it goes into, that goes right into the Gulf. Gulf of Mexico right there. And Hackney said, I got something you've got to experience. And he said, just cast, cast right, right, right up there, right on the, right on that head and it was the single best first cast of a show we've ever done ever and it was like I, yeah and what was funny was i looked at him and i was like there's no way that i'm going home i have got to i, I need some more of this for a day or two and and we stuck around Oh my you know, after after goofing with those, and I know this is going to sound nuts, but Greg had to go home, and it actually got better fishing a topwater there a day later. Rough as could be. Oh, that's a nice one. That is fantastic, dude. That's a All right, we got to make our last hour. I almost want to go out by the duck blind. Got him. Finally. Give it How far up. Is it? It's in that next, uh, well, I say that. It's kind of through that deal over. Yep. It's about maybe a half a mile. Gosh. Well, we can jump in that. The I deal. we should do it. Let's just flip this last okay. read okay. head and that Here's one right there. Because yeah. we had like four bites in here the other day. I, you shook one off, you know, yeah. and then I stobbed a big one. That vanished. We got bit as soon as we came. I don't. 
Mm-hmm. That Venice show was the the most insane show that that, that uh, it was out of control. On and off the water, if you if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you know what I mean. What's that? The, the man, man barge. barge. The man barge. Yes. Like. The, yeah. The man barge. Once you aboard the barge, you don't leave the barge. See, now this is what I thought was going to happen, man. Damn, that matted junk. Little ones, though. I did just because we got bit so quick. Yeah. I think we're going to do a couple questions right at the end of this. Okay. Well, when do we? Or when are you giving away the grand prize? Uh, right at the end. Right at the end. Right at the end. Do I think that there's been a question asked that's gonna, that that deserves the grand prize? I don't know. Somebody's gonna. You're gonna have to get on on uh, hashtag zone alive. I think there's been a couple good ones. Greg, do you have one in mind yet? That would grand prize? Yeah. I don't know that we've seen the grand prize. That a boy. Yeah. What is the grand prize? We will once we figure we out the right question. Exactly. You ready? Grand prize. The grand prize today. Trocar hooks from me for a year, a year's supply. $500 worth of trocar hooks. All you can eat, a buffet of hooks. You won't be able to use as many hooks as we're gonna send you. We're gonna make it rain these on you. Left-handed chick throw. Right there. We're gonna send you a box that will be filthiness of that right there. Bass Pro exclusive right there. Greg, what do you think? Yeah, I know. I thought you went on I, point. I did for a second. I felt the line drag. You got really quiet. I see he's back out there in that ditch. Yeah. Took a little bit of that. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, I know. I put oh it in. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? Get in there. You know it's windy when you... When you throw a three-quarter ounce up and it goes like that. And it just blows like a kite. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> I know. Oh my gosh. Wes? Let's talk about that a little bit, please. You know what's weird is shooting. Shooting, shooting shows, you always kind of take your, you know, you take your punches when you can get them. Thank goodness we got a show shot yesterday in a couple hours. Because I'll tell you, it, you know, it, you take, you take yesterday and the footage y'all got to watch today of yesterday, you take that for granted. At, God. God. Locked up on it. I mean, no, jump three foot slack. No, <laughs> you're right there. I mean, just did he really? <laughs> oh my, scared me. Oh, no doubt. But here's the thing. I mean, I'm ecstatic about this being our first zone alive. I'm ecstatic. It, it 
heck, I knew driving here this morning. I was like, oh my gosh, it's 30 something in Louisiana. This place has showed out for three days to me. If you look at the, the photo galleries online, I, I mean, you look at everything, it, this is a magical place. It's just Gros Savon, Louisiana. Best bass fishing place on planet Earth. Can you find this online? I would, I would think you get on the Yahoo Google and just yeah, just type in yeah, Gros Savon. You might even get by with GS three sixty five. Well done, well played, friend. Did he jump it good? Oh man. <laughs> really? Yeah, and I've waited. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I just one of these days we we'll have a discussion about this really. Say it again. No, no. I'm just doing something I typically don't do, you know, and I'm paying the consequences. Whoa. Yes, sir. Yeah, there it is. What was the question earlier? Do you remember? Where, do, do you not like to catch when you not catch them? Is that worse or lose them? <laughs> Who was that? Who was the one that says, "Do you"? What's worse, not catching them or losing them? He's not the winner. Was that D Wayne? <laughs> D Wayne. Was that D Wayne From in North Huntsville, Alabama? Alabama? Yeah. <laughs> Talk about roll tide every time. Uh huh. Yeah. No, it ain't. No, it's always roll tide. Yes, it it's is. It's always roll tide. No. Nick Saban is a beautiful man. He is a beautiful man. <laughs> a lot of our viewers have no idea that Nick Saban is my uncle. You know, he is from Michigan. I forgot uh -huh. about that. Sure is. Lansing. I mean, y'all. My are, uncle. Now I'm seeing the resemblance. I know. I know a gorgeous head of hair. Oh my. I know. Okay. Greg, should we go kill it out by the duck blind or you want to? I don't plink? know. The, the, only thing I, the, only, the only thing about that out there, we just never caught any good ones. Let's keep plinking. Well, we don't necessarily have to do that. I mean, we fire that swimmer out anywhere. I just let's give this just go down this canal just a hair farther. Folks, a couple minutes left to the Such questions. Such. Hashtag Zone Alive. Such. We got 30 minutes left. Oh gosh, it's game time. 20 minutes to get your questions in. Such, bring them. I mean, bring them when it's time. Such is having a time over there, isn't he? Look at him. Time of his life. Such. Such. I've loved it. I've loved it. Can I ask you a favor? Yes, sir. Will you do another Zone Alive with me? Oh, gosh. Here's my question. That's a, that's, you know, that's big. I know. Well, let me ask you a question. Here. I want to do it here. Hey, Dub, can we do another Zone Alive here? Thanks, bud. But this is the deal. We're going to come a month when there's no chance <laughs> that you can bring cold weather with you. Because <laughs> I'm going to be with Wes on this deal. We want big fish and we want warm weather. Did you see what's in that live well? Look in that live well. Look here. Them's biggins. They are, but I, I just want Look the warm those. weather. In there having a time. Look at them. Look at those backs on those. Oh my God. Pretty good ones in there. Look at that one right there. I mean, that's a stud. Dad gum Louisiana stud. That's a Delta slouch. I know they have caught Well, some. I think the lake, you know, the lake's only been around like six or seven years, and I think only like 11 and three quarters is the biggest. You know? I think they've caught like in the last two weeks when we had that real warm weather here, they had a bunch of, they had a bunch of eight to tens. 
I mean, filthy looking ones. And you know, honestly, we're here on the moon and I thought that was gonna be the deal if it hadn't have been for the clipper, the Northern Clipper. That's him right there. What's that? I'll be honest with you. I don't think you. there's a bad time. I just, I'm just thinking when, uh, now I will tell you this, if you come late enough, it's hot enough. <laughs> if you know what I, I mean. I mean, Southern Delta stickiness. Yes, I mean, like where your skin crawls all day because water is pouring from every orifice. And the mosquitoes here ride turkeys, if you know what I mean. There you go. You know it. There you go. You know it. Yeah, that we haven't. I'm just looking at our track. Say it again. Look at our track. We haven't. You know, it's kind of a new. Yeah. Yeah. It looks kind of different, doesn't it? A little bit. Little wood. Little bit. Little, little bit grass. of wood. Oh, I just saw one swim off at him. Oh. He just just eased off. Just eased off. There's big nest out there. On Say it again. I just I see a, I didn't I couldn't see the fish, but oh, I'd love one to slack line that swimmer. It's gonna happen. Looks right. Wes, do you have any, any more viewer questions yourself? I enjoyed yours today. Yeah, they were. You kind of brought it. Uh, oh. Yes! Get in here! Get it! Come over here. Come Get over it. here. Come over here. You're awesome, bro. I love Okay. okay, Mike McKenna said that? Done. Catch one big one to end it. We'll do. This is for you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I want one big one to end the show. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I love that voice. Like I really want you to start talking in that voice like all the time. Do it one more time, come on. Hey guys. I just want one big one to end the show real quick, okay? <laughs> Make it between, uh, give me a five to six. That sounds just like Mike McKinnon. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I've kept it in hiding all day. <laughs> Come on. You got, got 25 minutes. Welcome everyone. Yeah. Welcome to my pleasure zone. It's hate. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the pleasure zone. Oh, gosh. We're fantasies. Stop We're it. Stop it. Stop it. Become reality. Yep. Uh, uh, here's what we can do. We can do Zone of Lives for about three. This one or this one? Uh, just this one right here. Okay. Why not? We're going to end the first. Oh, Go. gosh. Little one just. Hold on. No, no, no. 
I will show him the way of the big one. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike McKinnis. Come. come oh, I to love me. it. Love it. Oh, they've been on the tips of those little islands. That one I just had bite, it just went tick, tick, tick. Wasn't the whoop. What did Karen Zone say? What did Karen Zone say? Karen Zone Karen just Zone. jumped in, just chimed. We don't need that. We don't need that. Yes, we do. No, we don't. KZ. She's expecting. Ooh, God. You think it'll be twins again? I hope not. I can't handle oh, a God. set. Of, I can't handle a set of twins right now at my age. No. We're gonna get bit down this. Oh, we did fish this. I remember that eel grass. Mm -hmm. We got bites down this one. We did. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Just no, no, no. Mm -mm. Lunka. The Lunkers, though. I'm just going to keep us going, okay? okay. where he should be, right? Can you get that little back? Right there, back seam. Little back seam? Yes, sir. Back corner. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. We had to work for it today, friend. You did work. Typical. I know. You know what I'm saying. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's so typical. Love it. Come on. One last. There he is. Big one. It's a big one. Big one. Big one. It's a big one. Oh, stay hooked up. Stay hooked up. It's got me buried up, Gray. Oh, it's a oh, big, it's a big, it's big a great one. big one. Greg, grab him, grab him, grab him, get 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 him. Get him. Ah! Yeah, baby! Ah! Sloan, Sloan, here it come. Here, oh yes. Here, sing it, sexy man. Sing it. I'm blank. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. I knew when it got. I was like, whoosh. oh my gosh. Oh. This is this was such a Zona show. This is for you, Mike. <laughs> hey guys, thanks. Nice lunka. <laughs> <laughs> Go on and eat it. Whoever wins the trocar thing, I'm giving you that trocar swim bait hook. I'm sending you that it exact hook. Out. I mean, I got him. I got him. Give it up. Spray it too. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look at that big old mouth. I mean, that's a millin' head slouch. That's a millin' head slouch. Look at that one. Yes. Yeah, bud. Yeah. Talk to me in the road warrior voice. Nice one, Mark. Nice one, Mark. <laughs> Good call. Oh, man. that's so cool. Look at that. Slouching. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. 
Oh, I'm sending that hook to whoever wins the grand prize. I really am. Mm, looks like a box of hangers. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. If that fish would have came off, my whole body, <laughs> my whole body would have imploded. Hey, guys, nice lunker. <laughs> Did Mike just chime in? Ooh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, what an ending. I mean, one giant lunker. That was it. I know. That was it. That's it. I'm sending whoever wins a grand prize that right there. You gonna sign it? Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. Oh my gosh, that was cool. <laughs> that was so like a Zona show, wasn't it? Try not to suck. Try not to suck. Try not to suck. Oh, that's so great. Oh, he flushed it, Greg. Oh, I know. I saw the... Awesome. Awesome. Oh, my God. All I did was... That I kept saying, we ought to get bit down this one. I remember getting a bite down here yesterday. And... They've been on the tips, on the back tips and the front tips of all these little bulkhead, these little islands. And I cast it out and all I saw was a push of water. That's all I saw. A complete push of water. And I saw his mouth get it. I hit him as hard as I, I mean, I hit him good, didn't I? Uh, I don't know, I can't even function. My body right now, everything in my body is vibrating, Such. Sooch, sooch, here come the sooch. Hey guys, I just said I needed one lunker. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross savant. I love it. I love it. That was a female, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And a nice one. Sooch! Rock and fire. And Greg, you get to pick the winner of best no. question. Oh, no. Yes, you do. No. <laughs> Matt Latia. Hack, how fast do you usually cover water in practice? Wide open. Fast. Repeat like, the question. Uh, uh, well, the question was, how fast do I cover water in practice? Why don't we cover a little more? And, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? right. <laughs> I'm joking. Actually, I'm going to mail a couple people or, or ask the uh, Godzilla quarter because we're going to bring that out again. I'm, I'm guessing for the classic, you just might have to do that. Four, if I'm leading by four pounds, or if I'm leading at all, going into the, yeah, by an ounce, a half an ounce. Last day of the classic, I guarantee you we'll see a Godzilla showing on the final day. There you go. Right over here. Guarantee if I'm leading the classic going into the last day, Godzilla will make a show in Conroe. Just saying. I am such a dork. Go ahead, Bradley. Go ahead, Suits Rock and Fire. Bradley Say it again. Crum is asking, where is the one place well, the elites haven't been that you would love to see him go? Both of Bradley Crum, old man Crum's kid, just asked if, <laughs> if there's ever a place where. Where the elites have not been, where would you like to go, Greg? Uh, Gros Savon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gros, Gros Savon or Sharon Loretta Harris Lake in North Carolina? Uh, Some place they've never been. Yeah. Wow, good question. Asking, what do you think has changed the most in the fishing aspect of the elites and the, the top tier circuit from the 80s to the 90s to now? Repeat the question, Wes. Uh, the question was, what has changed the most from the 80s to 90s to now? I think it still goes back to technology. It's the biggest thing that has changed our sport, you know, from our electronics, from the power poles, um, our equipment, our rods and reels, our line, our hooks, everything is better. There's so much knowledge out there, so much quicker. What we used to have to honestly wait to read in Bassmaster, now we can read every night and see live. I mean, so we're just getting it out there fastest to us a lot more faster, which I think is what the reason that we're gaining leaps and bounds on, you know, how good we are. And just catching lunkers, you know? Lunkers. Michael Lewin is asking, uh, what are the uh, several, he wants top five, but what are the cardinal sins of bass fishing? You know, kind of like in football, don't throw over the middle late in the game. Is there, yeah. Cardinal sins of bass fishing. Yeah, I'm going to let you answer that one. 
I'm going to give you the one cardinal sin of bass fishing, in my opinion. I'm being dead serious. And Greg talked about this earlier. Absolutely, hands down, bar none, we talked about this. When the wheels are coming off, don't make your boat look like this right here. Stick to what you know you're best at. What If you're a jig fisherman, be a jig fisherman. If you're a cranker and the wheels are coming off, go crank. Good one, Such. I like that. All right, Donnie is asking Greg, and I don't even know what this means. How do you feel about how the young guys on tour are using their electronics? Ooh. Go ahead. Oh, I, I think it's go. great. Yeah, I, I think it's Repeat great. Repeat the question real quick. Uh, well, the, the question was, how are the young guys on tour using their electronics? I'll be honest with you. The young guys on tour have a huge advantage over growing up in this age of technology. I mean, even from our phones and everything else. I think it's great the way they're utilizing it. All right, Joey Cobb wants to know your biggest weight ever, Hack. In, uh, in a tournament? Or like when I was at my heaviest? Well, I'm glad you didn't specify here. <laughs> uh, uh, 41.8. Wow. wow. That, uh, that yeah. was at Falcon in the east-west fish off. Five fish limit. Yeah, five fish limit. I had 41.8. I had 109 pounds in three days. I won by three pounds. Were those Salonia's fish? They were Salonia's <laughs> fish. Campbell's asking if you're looking forward to getting the Dardanelle. Uh, I am looking forward to Dardanelle, but let's not rush, let's not rush me into it. Let's wait on that next tournament first. Dave Jutton is asking Hackney, do you believe gaining the local information has become the most important part of being a successful elite angler? I don't know. I go. wouldn't Good. know. What was the question? Uh, gaining lo if gaining local knowledge was the uh, success of elite angler, and I said, I don't know, because I don't get Not any, so I don't know. Counter touch. One of the top three smallmouth fisheries in the north there, Z. There he is. Maybe. Oh, All right. Connor Cuff. Get what is up, Connor! What are Keep you going. going. Connor Cuff. What, what was the question? Top three smallmouth fisheries in the north. Top three smallmouth fisheries in the north. Connor. Lake Ontario. Millax. Top three smallmouth. Lake Ontario. Millax. And I gotta say it, it's a tough one, but it's the best one. It's Lake Huron. Go! Hey, Erie, how do you feel about the use of nets in bass tournaments? You think they should? Or just buy out it? No. I, I'm against nets in bass tournaments. I think it looks horrible on film. And it's a challenge, it's a sport. Why do you Dominic need a net? Chang asked you, Hack, if you ever checked the bass track during a tournament or would you? Dominic Chang, have you ever check, uh, checked Bass Track or would you? Uh, only when I'm not there. <laughs> David Garner is asking you how you got your nickname. Uh, I, you know what? Honestly, I got it from Fish Fishburn back when he commentated the tournaments. He was the guy who named me the Hack Attack. All right, here you go. Here's a fun one. Wally Perry. Which elite pros would you associate with the following canines, a Jack Russell. Okay, you have to you have to associate Eight. these dogs an elite with right, an elite series Jack pro. Russell. The first one's That's a Jack John Russell. Cruz. That's John Cruz. Uh, Jack Russell. I'm going to go Crete on a Jack Russell. Who would you say on a Jack Russell? It was either Crete or Ike and Nelly. It, it my, oh, good point. Pitbull. What's the next dog? This one. <laughs> I knew Pitbull. that was coming. Pitbull Pratt. right here. Great game. I'm, I'm out of my mind right now. A Great Dane? KVD. KVD. Yeah. yeah. I would say a KVD. KVD. Great Dane. It's majestic. German Shepherd. I'm just yeah, but it's kind of goofy, there. big and goofy. German Shepherd? <sighs> Todd Farrell. Oh. Quiet pet, but you don't want to. Might bite. Might bite you. Yes. Now, this was funny. Bobby Jordan, I don't know. He pictures Z as a centaur. What mythical creature would Hackney be? If I was a centaur, what mythical creature would Hackney be? Well, it's easy. We've been talking about that. Be a that. minotaur. The mi do the, do it. Oh my gosh. 
Suits, go. Keep Went going. Forever. Keep going. You could pick one lake and one bait to fish all year. What would it be and why? One lake, one bait, Hack, all year. Why? Oh, gosh. Oh, I don't want to stop, man. Yeah. They're starting to bite. Three men. Oh, can we go longer, man? Uh, go ahead, Lake and Bait. I'm gonna go St. Clair. Uh, no, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, Lake Ontario, sexy dog. That's mine. Oh God. Uh, Grosavon Hackatack flipping jig. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna get bit every day. It's he's not gonna catch him every day on that sexy dog up there. But here with that jig, every Peter day. Peter Lieberman asked, "Don't did you ever get competitive with your guests? When do you not?" Uh, the question is, do I ever get yeah. competitive with the guest? I, I don't. Ever? I don't. I don't. Um, no. Wes, do I get competitive with the guest? I'll tell you, the only one I get competitive with is Van Dam. It is, isn't it? Remember the. He was throwing the yeah. Throwing the yeah. No, was I would that? say, who was that? Good question. The only, the Good only, question. The only, the only guests I get competitive with is Van Damme. That's, <laughs> That's terrible. That's a bad terrible. one to get competitive, bad one to get competitive with, too. Suits, go, 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 go. Who's the junkyard mutt? Who's the junkyard mutt? Who's the junkyard mutt? Heck. You're picking Fire it. Request. You're picking it. What am I picking? The, you're picking. You're picking the call. You're the, the viewer of the day. I'm gonna go with the guy. Who would you hang out and have a beer with? Whoever that was. Yeah, that's fine. You pick whoever. I can't do that. I, I'm not qualified for anything like that. Hey, Suit. Yeah. We're doing the grand prize. If I could hang out with four Elite Series guys, no fishing involved. No fishing involved. Whoever that guy was that asked that question. All the trocar hooks you can eat for a year, and that swim bait one right there. I'm gonna send you that one that caught that big old last ouch. Oh, is there one on there? No, I'm no. just 30 more seconds. Come on, one more big and oh, it's getting warm now, too. We're gonna wrap her up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Gang, I'm dead serious for the, first, serious one. For the first one. I, I know we were a little grab and we were kind of learning. Greg, number one, thank you for catching the first one on Zona Live, Gross Savant. Thank you to those guys right there. Doug M, Gross Savant, Eric Kafka, Sue. our winner. And who is it? Adam. Adam Laney, we're going to hook you up. You just got to give his address. Where's he from? Yeah, where's he from? Twitter feed. Thank Such. you for watching. Big thanks to all the sponsors. Trocar, you're the best. We will see you in one month in a very magical place with Kevin Van Dam. Hackney, two words to that camera right now. We done. See ya. How about that end, man? <laughs> yeah, boy. There he is. Big it. It's a big one. Big it. Big it. It's a big one. It's a big, it's big a great big one, Greg. Grab him, grab him, grab him, get 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 him. Get him. Yeah, <laughs> baby! Sloan, Sloan, here it come. Here, oh, yes. Here, sing it, sexy man. Sing it. I'm blank. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. This is, this was such a zona show. This is for you, Mike. <laughs> that was awesome. That was so awesome. Spawner! Spawner! What, what a bite, man. That tail has so much stump and it's ribbed for their pleasure. What are we doing? Now, how do you think that fish felt like, like right there? Oh, get in the boat! <laughs> Welcome to Zone Alive. <laughs> Look at that one. Get off, are you kidding me?